Uh, thank you so much. They're all part of the team. Let me just remind you tomorrow, of course, we have our faith panel as usual. We have the wife of Julian Assange, uh, Stella Assange, will be joining to talk about what her husband is going through, whether he will get extradited to the USA. Uh, Pratia Patel has okayed that. Uh, does he have to fear the death penalty? All of that we'll be discussing. As I said, uh, we'll also have Joseph um, and discussing all things legal and a lot, lot more. I'm sure we'll have the same thought-provoking stuff. James Whale Leash next. Uh, until then, I'll see you tomorrow. This is Talk TV. This, my friends, is Talk Today with me, Jeremy Kyle. And me, Nicola Thorpe. Hey, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. And we're on your smart speaker. Now, you ain't going to happen and eve it, me old Chinas, but a new report is calling for a new definition of cockney. All right, Jeremy, me old China. Rosie. Oi, right, oi, oi, treat girl. Having a conversation with a professional journalist, he chose to belittle her, diminish her, um, and use sexist language. I can't stand the word casual sexism. There's nothing casual about igniting and using kind of diminishing and belittling language about anyone, especially someone who's trying to do her job. When J.K. Rowling says, let's just be honest, that's all she's saying, let's just be honest. When a man goes out and kills, we should talk about them as what they are, a biological man. And when the media constantly refer to trans criminals, when they are biological men as women, we will no longer put up with these lies about our gender anymore and about our sex. Trans woman, it's not a woman, trans woman. Lee would have to go for much further than his statement. I mean, he, he did say that he spoke clumsily and he understood the Prime Minister's position, but I think he'd need to say that he'd got it wrong. I, that's robust. It's going to cause a, an argument. It's going to cause tension. But we've got to do it, because otherwise this country is going down the path. Then I had a phone call this morning um, from Kim City Council, a lovely woman called Anna. And yeah, I've just received an email just saying, um, that, yeah, I'm going to be getting a badge. Quite um, right, too. Yeah. Quite yeah. right, too. It's that time again to get the violins out. That's right. Prince Harry has lost his bid for UK security after moaning he'd been singled out. They might as well be discussing an invasion of Daleks for all I really get this. <laughs> but, but, but I am now on social media having been dragged off my eight-pound Nokia, reluctantly kicking and screaming. <laughs> I'm, I'm a huge hit on Instagram, as you probably know. One parent commented on a review of Peppa Pig that their daughter had begun to lash out since watching the show and added that Peppa is rude, bossy, a liar, tattletale and even more. Say it's not so. What are you doing? I'm just about to do it. Ooh! Ooh! It's carry on what just <laughs> happened. Ooh, uh, listen. <laughs> there was a suggestion by some that maybe it would be nice to put a statue of the Queen on mm. the fourth plinth. Mr. Khan apparently wasn't too keen on that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, uh, know it's, I know it's coming and I can't stop laughing. <laughs> so he suggested alternatives. There's a sweet potato. Uh, that's quite a small statue, then. <laughs> Wasn't there also a prostitute? <laughs> ah, <laughs> a trans... Sex worker. You don't really need one of those in Trafalgar Square. You've just got to walk up to Soho. So <laughs> yeah. Why do you know this? Because yeah. I know everything. Uh, was he just unlucky getting that question with an ice cream, or is it a sign of something more? Seemed like he was on a uh, late night show to attract a young demographic, and uh, you put him in an ice cream store. And once you get defeated by a guy named Begley, that's <laughs> it. You retire from politics, and you speak to Rosanna on primetime and have a lot more fun. I read the statement this morning from the family. And if any police officer reads that statement, if you don't cry for what you read from what the family is saying, it's heartbreaking, then you shouldn't be a police officer. The UK, I'd say, had lots of racism within it. I don't necessarily think it's a racist country, but it permeates our institutions. They're now trying to say, hey, we've got a really clever idea for the cost of living crisis. Right. Eat cereal for dinner. But for her to say, come out and vote, and by the way, t when I was 22 years old and I had an affair with a married man that I knew was married, the feminist failed me. I'm sorry. I think like, the feminist well, did fail her. Yeah, we're absolutely. supposed to have moved on from that. Era. She was 22, mm. we're supposed to have moved on from that. Don't hark back on no. something you did that was wrong. Talk TV. It's the only place where you get the truth.
was the woke that was 10 o'clock on Saturday night. We've got Lois Perry and Pete Barnes and the deputy leader of Reform UK is our star guest, Ben Habib and this useless bloody rabbit. <laughs> Yes, we are on live on uh, Saturday. Is it Saturday? It is, isn't yeah. it? Saturday night. Uh, three hours live television. You don't get it anywhere else, both on TV Not and radio. Talking about the issues of the time. What's going on? What's worrying you? What would you like done about it? Go on, itchy nose. About my car. Yeah. 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 Hang, on, hang on, what's that? What's that red over there? What's that, what's that red light there? Oh, don't, I, oh that's Maisie. She, that's a code from Maisie. Yeah, hang yeah. on. Hang the same on. time, Maisie, same place. What? Well, up there, though. That, that's, that's the roof. She's hovering. She, yeah. That's hovering. Oh, right. Yeah, oh, yeah. Aliens are, are here. Sorry, can we, we can uh, announce? Just, just calm this is not Orson down. Wells, isn't it? He's, he's talking rubbish as usual. Um, you can like we it. find out? Because that is quite serious. There's something red hovering over the building next door. Yeah. Can we find out what it is? Okay. Good, we've got our best men on the job. Thank goodness for that. Right, that's good. Uh, a little worried about that. I might have to uh, put my head in the way. Quite a, oh, yeah, it's bad, no, it's it? not moving. Uh, anyway, listen, welcome to the programme, The James Whale Show. That's me, Unleashed. Sorry, 50 guys. years Unleashed. Gosh, I'm surprised. Uh, if you're easily offended, if you are listening in Scotland, I have a problem. Uh, the yeah. new hate laws that have come out in Scotland is I can't call you a bunch of fat so-and-sos. Um, I can't be rude about any... I can't say you're skinny. You get extradited by you know. um, Hamza Yusuf. Yeah, uh, Hamza Useless. The Scottish Inquisition. Is that actually calling him useless? That could be perceived as a hate crime. I'd rather be called that than Jimmy Cranky, though, so I think it's a, at least it's a positive that way. And he I do get, feel he so get a home I do feel sorry for Scotland. Um, before we go any further, if you are easily offended, then don't watch this, don't listen to this, uh, because sometimes it's offensive, but I don't remember. Hang or on, complain just to the Scottish just, police. Just a minute, hold on. Uh, we want to take your calls. Numbers on the screen. If you're listening to us on Talk Radio, 0344 499 1000. Gary, good evening. Hello, James. Hello, Ash. Oh, um, yes. Gary, Hello. you rang last week, didn't you? Please, I wanted to talk no, about. No, no, Gary, you keep, you keep, you keep ringing in, and you you wait. I know, but you just want to talk about rubbish. He's an addict. I'm going to tell you about something that is fundamentally important to human beings. Your microwave's okay. going off. Yeah, yeah. I was going to. What's going on in the smoke, background? Smoke alarm. You better get out, man. There's alarm. Yeah. Can you turn that off? Um, it's not here. What I was going to say is that life after death, that the body and, and the mind is connected um, uh, physically yeah. and physically. Um, I'm, 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 I'm not interested. I'm not interested. Why are you phoning me about this rubbish? That was beautiful, man. Yeah, well, you'll find out about it soon enough. Oh, really? Yeah, you will. Not very yeah, nice. not very you know nice. what's going on. How do you huh? know? How do I know what's going on? I've no idea what's going on. What's going on? What is going on? There's, there's a lot of things going on. You, you, James, you tend to rubbish things sometimes when you don't really have. It's that my program. Knowledge. I'll do what I like. If you want to yeah, rubbish things, you get your own bloody show and you do it. Just because I'm yeah, terminally ill and I have cancer, you think it's funny to come on and talk about what's going to happen after life when you, like everybody else, has not got a clue. About what? Exactly. Exactly. I apologise if I've been insensitive to your condition. Go away. You want to come on and talk about life after death, you've got to be stupid, haven't you? Because you have no proof He's either gone. way. He's gone. Thank goodness for that. Sorry. Um, that just... I am... That was an example of how you might get offended. So if you get offended easily, uh, this is not the show for you. 0344 499 1000. To talk about things sensibly and uh, in a proper manner, please give us a call. We're going to be talking about... My bugbear at the moment, I've got many, is Just Stop Oil. We're going to talk about mm. a branch of Just Stop Oil. Another bunch of idiots. I think one of them's actually coming in, which is a bit what of a What do worry. they want to just stop? They want to stop everything. Life, I should think. Mm. Um, and the other thing... Oh, they want to overthrow the government. Are we well, allowed that's... to have them in the studio? Well, that's treason. I, I, why, haven't, why haven't they been arrested? Oh, OK, they're going to do it with love. Um, oh, that's all right. The other thing that's annoying me is Britain as a nation. Tell me if I'm wrong about this. Tell me if I'm wrong. Britain as a nation is just leaving our borders open. 
What other country would let people walk in? You're diluting your sovereignty every time by the percentage of people coming into the population. You're diluting. We're still about 70% British. I don't mind where British, these people come from, by the way. They shouldn't be coming here illegally. It's got nothing well, to do with... You know, they're coming here. 800 last weekend. Goodness only knows how many this week. Well, you get that in a day sometimes. Yeah. But don't worry, 200 will eventually go to Rwanda, so all the other hundreds of thousands will be... But two, they won't... They'll stop No other country here. would do this. France don't care. France would be glad to see the back of them because France aren't able to control their borders because they're in the EU. Uh, Germany made such a spectacle of itself that they've now become overrun with migrants that they are having to close the door and there's a possibility of, of, of even civil war. Well, we're bound by the know. ECHR, where the, the irony is the European countries use EU law and the EU isn't bound mm. by it, whereas their own law... So they can use... So we're we coming out leave. of the ECHR. We need to, yeah. And so I'm saying... To our government now, to the government that might be here in a few months, I'm telling you now that you need, all right, you need to do something about the illegals coming into this country. So call us now. What's your thoughts? Let's talk to Susan, who's in Exeter. Susan. Oh, hello, darling. I'm looking forward to the show. Good. Thank you very much. Sorry, started, Susan. Uh, let's talk to Henry, who's in uh, Leeds. Yes, Henry. Hello. Henry. Could you tell people to be ready because I've got to take as many calls as I can for the first ten minutes. Henry. Just Henry's too stupid. Let's go to Barry in Norwich. Barry. All right, Baz. Hello, James. Hello, Hello. Barry. Thank God yeah. for that, Barry. A sensible, lovely, listening person. Yeah. I'm getting rather stressed out, James. I don't know about you about these flags and what's going on with this country's identity and the mockeries in May, the Union Jack and yeah. the uh, flag of St. George yeah. at the moment. Uh, it's... Uh, no other country in the world would, uh, <laughs> would deface their flags like the way we have. Team GB, I didn't realise it was... Um, is it this year that it's an Olympics? Is it? It's already. It comes around so fast, doesn't it? Um, but apparently it's an Olympics this year. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not... You're not entering it, are you? No, you're not you're entering it. Entering it. But... but Team GB should be disgusted with themselves for changing the flag. Apparently in July this year. Really? Paris? In Paris. No one's really... In Paris. It's not no, very no. good PR, is it? No well, no, the world's no. falling apart, so they don't want to talk about the Olympics. But it's even hard to fly the yeah. Union flag anyway. Just Barry, it's, it's over to you. Oh, well, I, I just think this country's identity is slowly being eroded. I agree. And, not slowly. Uh, and, 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 and people are, actually hate this country and, and everything it stands for. And, uh, yeah. Have I, you only just well, realised... Right. No, 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 but it, it, it's, been, it's, it's been creeping and creeping and creeping. And it's and here now, isn't it? It's here. That, I mean, you in America, America, you'd be put in prison yeah, for doing yeah, that. You wouldn't do it in America, yeah, it's defacing the flag to criminals. No, they've got it in New York. They've got people being anti the US in New York. And it's going on there as well in some of these uh, Lock them up. The people who run Team GB disgust me. And if they don't like yeah. it, then they can come on the programme, they're invited, and they can grovel and explain why without talking yeah. to anybody in this country. They have decided to actually deface Britain's national flag. They've bastardised it. I agree with you. Bastardised yeah. it. And, you know, what, 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 what does the government say about this? Yeah. 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 I agree. Barry, you made a good point. Thank you. Carol. Hello, Carol. Where are you? Somerset. I'm in Dorset. Hello, Carol. So Somerset. Yeah, well, she's been driving yeah, since... the last bit's right. Um, Carol, oh, what do you want to talk about? Yeah. <laughs> just the fact that, you know, you're inspirational and I just love you to your programme. Oh. Flag... But James is inspirational oh, as well, isn't he? It's not just me, Just give it? us a kiss. Go on, she loves right. us. Give us a kiss. Go on, she loves you. Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> Salty. But, um, thank you. Thank you for... <laughs> Salty way. <laughs> Anything else, Carol? About you? Is that it? Where no, are you, what are you doing on the road at this hour? Where are you going? Um, no, I've just come back to my sister's in North Dorset. And I'm yeah. driving... Uh, well, have a look. Yeah, Listen, yeah, Carol, yeah. you keep your eyes on the road. Have a very nice trip. Thank you for your call. Yeah. Uh, Lady W, who's sitting in the other room at the moment, just yeah. keep an eye on me tonight, as obviously oh, yeah. wasn't very keen on you kissing me. Well, I wasn't even, so... Yeah, so we've got to be sure careful about that. Uh, Wayne. Hello, Wayne. Where's Wayne? Lincolnshire. Oh, uh, like Wayne. Oh, he, no, he's been in him. prison twice for TV licence yeah. evasion. Wayne, I like what do you Wayne. want? He's a good lad. 
Well, I, I'd, I'd like to make friends with you, James. We It was silly, really. Three years ago, and you ain't me still. Yeah, of course you. Well, see if you can change my mind, no. Wayne. Here's a, a whole minute to see if you can change it. Right. Can I just tell you about an unfortunate story, James, with uh, uh, a garden, what, a garden opposite my bungalow. A gentleman had passed away. His garden got overgrown. We had some... Uh, silly workers when you stay with industrial strimmers and destroyed the full family. They strimmed the family? Yes. They, well, they should not have done that. So no, the grandfather was no. overgrown and they strimmed him? Oh, that is terrible. Yeah. Right. Oh, well, Wayne, we're trying bit. to make friends and well, you're just know. making me really Why didn't sad you intervene, Wayne? Why didn't you intervene and stop them strimming I him? I did. I took... I took on my stick at Lake Chris. I walked at Top of the Hill. Top of the Hill. Oh, right. yeah. And did they stream you a bit as well? No, but it upset me and... It would do. It's upset me, Wayne. Well, you're all upset. You've really upset, upset the whole country now. Yeah. Look what you've done. Thanks, Wayne. I think we're friends again. OK. Uh, Mary is in Surrey. Mary, you're on the air. Hello. Good evening. I'm just saying, James, I think you're absolutely fantastic. And I love your show, but that sidekick rash, you yeah. could well do yeah, without. Yeah, yeah, it's an yeah. absolute pain in the ass. Imagine how you wouldn't... You like watching it, though, don't you? Imagine you wouldn't wash it, watch it, well, would hang, you? Hang on. She loves I, the show. I, you know, listen, you know, you know. Mary... I like the show. You've got a really good point there, Mary. Go yeah, nice. You're watching the show wrong, aren't you? We, for me... Remember, it's for all... Me, no, she's watching it for me. This show is all about me. And no, actually, forget no, it, Mary. no. He, and he, if he shaved a bit, would would you actually like him a bit more? No, she's just... There's no hope. Not, no, not really. I think he's just so irritating and James would be better on his own. OK. I'll pass that on, Mary. Thank he, you he very wouldn't. much I mean, indeed. He, uh, Anne's in Hertfordshire. Anne, good evening to you. Do you agree, Anne? Yes, yes good evening to you both. Hi. I'd like to say about the migrants... I Is think it all cold, government... Anne? No. OK, good. I, don't, I think the, the British government are not... Uh, Would you like a sniff before we carry on? You blow your nose. Led all these people into the country. We're not being protected. Yeah. And I'd like to know where they're all ending up. Well, I think we'd all like to know that. That's the whole point of it, Anne. They're uh, being put in nice hotels. Oh, they moan. Some of them have the audacity to moan about they're not being looked after yeah. enough. Wi-Fi. Uh, and enough then you get these that. bloody stupid charities uh, yeah. who go rushing around with bottles of water and rugs and everything else. These people yeah. are breaking into our country. If we had a land border, we would have armed guards. We would not allow people to come through a land border except at the immigration points. Mm. And that's what should happen. We are lucky enough to have a moat around the country. We have a fabulous Royal Navy. And they're in dock, sitting there, twiddling their rifles, when they should be out in the channel, saying to France, look, guys, we are not allowing you to send people you don't want into Britain. So I'm sorry, they're your problem. You deal with it. Unless we get a leader with a backbone who's pre prepared to say this, it would just carry on. So, yeah, and I'm uh, I'm with you on that. Mm. Yeah, thank you for okay, the call. Thank you. And you, mm. Shelley is in... Oh, you know, answer the question. In, uh, in, I can't... Half for Shelley. Shelley. Yeah, Shelley. Hello, good evening, James. I just wanted to say, the gentleman before was extremely rude to you. I think you're wonderful. And I always look forward to your programmes on a Saturday night. Didn't you agree oh. with anything that he said? No, only that you're a wonderful person. I think you're a wonderful person. Mm. Is this the woman that thinks I'm irritated? Yeah. Again? Yeah. How did she get through again? Well, because, you know, she, no, was, I like she was talking to the switchboard. Like nice. Yeah, but you don't like that bloke who works with me much, do you? I, I love James well. I think he's the best. Yeah. Thank you, Shelley. We'll tell him. Thank well, you. We're you're going to take a break. Thanks for your call. Hey, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. And we're on your smart speaking. Now, you ain't going to have an eve it, me old Chinas, but a new report is calling for a new definition of cockney. All right, Jeremy, me old China. Rosie. All right, oi, oi, treat girl. When JK Rowling says, let's just be honest, it's all she's saying, let's just be honest. When a man goes out and kills, we should talk about them as what they are, a biological man. Trans woman, not a woman, trans woman. It's a map.
Lee would have to go for much further than his statement. I mean, he did say that he spoke clumsily and he understood the Prime Minister's position, but I think he'd need to say that he'd got it wrong. Then I had a phone call this morning um, from Kim City Council, a lovely woman called Anna. And yeah, I've just received an email just saying um, that, yeah, I'm going to be getting a badge. Quite um, right too. Yay. Quite Yay. right too. It's that time again to get the violins out. That's right. Prince Harry has lost his bid for UK security after moaning he'd been singled out. They might as well be discussing an invasion of Daleks for all I really get this. <laughs> but, but, but I am now on social media having been dragged off my eight pound Nokia, reluctantly kicking and screaming. <laughs> I'm a huge hit on Instagram, as you probably know. What are you doing? I'm just about to do it. Ooh! Ooh! It's carry on <laughs> what just happened. <laughs> Whoa, <is it? laughs> There was a suggestion by some that maybe it would be nice to put a statue of the Queen on the mm. fourth plinth. Mr. Khan apparently wasn't too keen on that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Huh? I know what's I know what's coming and I can't stop laughing. So he suggested alternatives. There's a sweet potato. Uh, that's quite a small statue then. Wasn't there also a prostitute? <laughs> oh, a trans sex worker. You don't really need one of those in Trafalgar Square. You've just got to walk up to Soho. So <laughs> yeah. Why do you know this? Because yeah. I know everything. Uh, was he just unlucky getting that question with an ice cream, or is it a sign of something more? Seemed like he was on a uh, late night show to attract a young demographic, and uh, they put him in an ice cream store. I read the statement this morning from the family. And if any police officer reads that statement, if you don't cry for what you read from what the family is saying, it's heartbreaking, then you shouldn't be a police officer. The UK, I'd say, has lots of racism within it. I don't necessarily think it's a racist country, but it permeates our institutions. Yeah, but for her to say, come out and vote, and by the way, when I was 22 years old and I had an affair with a married man that I knew was married, the feminist failed me. I'm sorry. I think like, the feminist did to, fail her. Yeah, we're we're supposed to it was another era. She was 22. Mm. We're supposed to have moved on from that. Don't hark back on no. something you did that was wrong. Talk TV. It's the only place where you get the truth. Uh, right, welcome back. It is uh, James Well Unleashed tonight. And as usual, over the past, I don't know, gosh, all of this year, for a start back to the 7th of October, I suppose, we have been talking about the one subject everybody's been discussing and what are we going to do in the Middle East? How is Israel and Palestine going to get together? What is going to happen? Um, since, of course, the killing of three... Uh, I think it was three British citizens who uh, were actually, I think, personal security guards protecting the other people there. Uh, things have got a little more difficult. And America has now said to uh, Israel that if they don't start to keep uh, things safer for the civilians out there, they're going to be very stressed and might uh, have to uh, suddenly act as well. Whether it's time to bring the United Nations forces in to separate sides, I don't know. I really don't know what the answer is. Uh, joining me tonight, Gu Bahu, who uh, has got about 20 million followers. You got it right, hey, Yeah, yeah, I love that. Bray Egg. Um, and Keith Fraser, who apparently I was rude to in a cafe about 30 years ago. <laughs> that wouldn't surprise um, me. Who, you have to mention the 30. Who, who is from the Israel Solidarity Movement. Now, I don't want to have an argument. Ash has gone out to have a cup of coffee because obviously uh, Ash feels in incredibly strongly to all Jewish people about this subject. Of course. I, I f there must be some way of doing this. Nobody agrees that um, killing innocent people is a good thing. It's not a good thing anyway. It happens in war, unfortunately, but it, it's happening too much at the moment. And I'm just going to put forward a premise, sure. and then I'm going to ask both of you what you think. Now, it looks like, because America has spoken, that Netanyahu will have to do it. It also looks like a lot of people in Israel are now against the way Netanyahu is behaving. And that will, I think, make a change. But, you know, there has to be give and take. We've had one dear poor chap dead already who was one of the hostages sent home. There are over a hundred other people, if some of them are still alive, hopefully they are. And there are calls, I know, for people to be let out of Israeli jails as well. Yeah. And also, 
there are a bunch of people, mainly Americans, who have uh, gone and taken land from Palestinians and, and set illegally. up... Illegally. Yeah. And that's, set up not, camps. That means it's not illegal. Well, it actually is, but... Sure, it is illegal. Is. It's not illegal. Well, we'll go over that in a moment, but uh, it seems to the rest of the world and to, to most people it is illegal. In fact, the Israeli government before was actually repatronising them and taking them out and closing some of them down. Yeah, Gush Katif. So, if the Israelis would do that to make a step towards peace, if Hamas, who really are an appalling terrorist organisation and will perhaps carry on, maybe with a little more control, but if they will stop and release the hostages. Israel gives back the illegal settlements that have been taken over. Um, could there be an answer to this? Well, there's a lot to unpack with what you just said. It was like a four-minute question, so mm. which part would you like me to elaborate? Well, I'll tell you what, on the first one, is there a possibility this could be actually an answer to this problem? W what being the answer? That if both sides give a little? Oh, well, of course. I mean, there's not. it's not going to be a one-sided issue. We are neighbours. Yeah. We share a lot of history. We share DNA. Um, really and truly, we have, we're technically family, you yeah. know? These are our neighbours and we should love and care for each other. So the first step is going to be, obviously, communication, but I feel like the main step here is justice. I was talking to a guy the other day who is an Israeli, mm. married to a Palestinian lady. Amazing. And saying that there are many of them mm -hmm. are living in Israel. Yeah. Uh, bringing up children from both sides and that they are incredibly upset about what is going on. And it's difficult, we understand, if you're fighting a war and you're adamant you're going to get the people who are fighting you and they're in a, m mixed in with the civilian population, as happens in lots of, we, we can go back to any war. But now as it has become such a talking point across any programme, any news bulletin, there must be something that we can start to do. So let me ask you, Keith, wouldn't there be a, a little bit of give and take? Can you see Israel maybe uh, releasing some of the young people that they've taken into custody? Well, these, and these possibly are young going people, back to the go the, back. These, to the these are young people who've committed terrorist attacks on Israel on innocent Israelis. What well, the um, children? Sorry, to are, you, are you interrupting? Apologies, but what children? Okay. Well, now, unfortunately, children uh, no, have this, become, here's, 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 what, here's, what, here's another, throwing uh, stones. Here's terrorists. another incorrect fact, and I would ask you not to interrupt. And I will interrupt you. I'll decide. Okay. Now, Keith, get on with now it. you say about give and take. Yeah. Who are you going to give and take with? Well, both sides. Gaza is run by Hamas, mm -hmm. the Islamic resistance movement. It's not the Palestinian no. resistance we movement. We know that the Islamic. So what are we going to do? You have Islamic Jihad. Yeah, are you, Islamic. Let, hang on, Keith. Let's oh. just. I don't need a history lesson. It okay. just takes us back and it ruins it. What I want to know is, if that won't work, what would work to make it, Netanyahu? Let's face it, it, is his fault. He's sending his troops in. They have to do what they're told. And he, he also told the Knesset to yep. back Hamas and finance them. Yep. That's, that's, the that's, 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 it is true. Everybody at home, he's lying to you. Google it right I'm now. I'm lying, am I? You are lying. The majority... In, in, in 2000... He's called me... He's just yeah, saying that I'm lying. lying. Let, let, in the you. Knesset, everyone at home, check for we, yourselves. Yeah. And tell yeah. me if I'm... Look, you're interrupting me. Yeah. But everybody not. in the Knesset... Go check out... In 2019, Netanyahu said we in the Knesset... We can't do that now. He said himself, if you want to avoid the creation of a Palestinian state, we must support Hamas and we should support them financially. Google it, everybody at home. Let me give you if we carry Gaza on, listen to me. With respect. If we okay. carry on like this, there will be no point in okay. going on with the interview. I don't mean to interrupt. Okay. Please so let me just go okay. back to the point, right? Um, don't um, lie. Um, you know, there are very few people who want the government of Israel in Israel at the moment. And as soon as this stops and there's an election, he's going to be out of a job. Yep. So is there no way while he is where he is? He's obviously given in to the Americans today. So, could let, you go let me answer your question, James, yeah. in a few ways, OK? Uh, without interruption. So, basically, Bibi Netanyahu, yes, he's the Prime Minister. Yes, before the war, he was unpopular. However, because of the atrocities of October the 7th, uh, there is a wartime coalition government with Benny Gantz, the centrist, who is running the show as well. Now, Benny Gantz would be doing exactly the same as Netanyahu, as he must. Because <clears throat> Israel is fighting a genocidal terrorist organization, the Islamic resistance movement. <clears throat> and, the, you know, you have to understand, when you are battling, like we had here, we have it here, we have 7-7, we had 
Manchester. Yeah. Can we not I'm do this, seeing... Keith? Because this is where it goes wrong. Yeah. We're going back into history. I'm bored already. I want to know what is the future for the, the future Middle is East. This. Okay. A two-state solution? N um, listen, there, let me A ask you a I'm going to answer the question. First of all, there are already two states yeah. of in, in Palestine. There's an Arab state and a Jewish state. One's called Jordan. They occupy 80% of Palestine. Fact. Mm -hmm. I, I even have here the, the map of historic Palestine. This yeah. is what you should learn, mate. I okay. know it already. 80%. Can you stop, Keith, Keith, given to an, can you stop being rude? Because okay. you're making a prat of yourself. Okay. You're embarrassing yourself. You are. Right. Yeah, yeah. You're not embarrassed. <laughs> okay. Yeah, good one. Anyway. Okay. Anyway, anyway, you, anyway, you, anyway. I will answer Thank the question. Wait a minute. I haven't You've been talking for eight minutes. I haven't finished. May I? May. I'm going to come to you in a minute. Sure, no come to you in a minute. Don't poke me with a pen ever again. Okay. Big pun? Don't poke me with that pen ever again. Okay. Guys. Good. Okay. Right. You've said what you've said. So what I'm saying is to have any kind of agreement. You, like Israel has with Egypt, like for example, take yeah. Egypt. Israel what you, had a look, sadat. Look, what is the quickest way for us to get to peace? end the deradicalization yeah. of the How Islamic fundamentalists? How do you do that? Okay. Fundamentalists. How do you do it? Re-education. Right. Okay. Okay. May you, I please? You can have your your time this, now. What uh, do we esteemed, do? This no, esteemed listen. gentleman next to me. Well, ignore just, him. No, but I'm not going to ignore him. He just made a few valid points. I'll give you that. I can see he made valid points. But the issue is, you have a very Eurocentric perspective on Jewish and Palestinian history. It's all one side, and our violence is holier than thou. How dare you? If you cannot accept that there are two sides with valid mm. arguments, guess what? There will be no peace. Without justice, there will be no peace, sir. So you can come here with your little justice. pieces of explain. Why are you interrupting? I thought we weren't doing interruptions. Explain. Annoying, isn't it? I'm explaining guys, to you now. I'm guys, your friend. The f you guys, know, when I walked in here, do you know what I, I said to him? I no what idea. did I say? As a friend, I tried to be nice. I said, yeah. bring them home. Good, tonight. good, good, good. Okay, good. Did I not? This yeah, is I just demonstrating. Yeah, exactly. piece. This is demonstrating to everybody why we're in such a situation. Yeah, hostilities for now, no reason. As as Keith must understand, since the killing of seven aid workers yeah. mm -hmm. and British citizens, things are changing because that was a mistake. But it was a mistake that proper soldiers, airmen, do not make. And now things are changing and they have to change. Yeah, and now maybe tragedy. we can see, because you two demonstrate why it's very difficult to get to middle ground, but we must try and find a way. You agreed. know that. Agreed, agreed. Look, I don't want to have beef with you, bro. Honestly, I don't. I don't want it to turn into a point-scoring system. I know you care deeply about your people, right, and the security of Israel. Is that is that a fair statement? Yeah, and I mean, too. To know who you, who you, what your background is actually? So my what father, do, what do you my care father's about? Palestinian Lebanese, and my mum's Algerian. I thought you were born in Kuwait, right? I am. Yeah, I was born in Kuwait during um, okay. Saddam Hussein. Can we listen? All this but doesn't look, matter. It doesn't matter. You're right. Basically, what I'm saying is, bro, I see you as my friend. Jews are my friend. Okay. The last thing we can we should be doing is arguing and trying to win and get a point over each other. The truth is this: people are dying at a crazy rate, so how do we and stop you it? only we only speak about the aid workers. What about the 196 aid I, workers I, I, that were look, killed prior? Yeah. How it's are a double we, standard. Listen, I'm telling how you, am I, yeah, you're telling we me ignore the double standard and we get justice how and fairness in the world. How are we going to get peace in the Middle East? I think this is what we need to do. The first thing we need to do is get Netanyahu to resign. The com like before October the 7th happened, it would make a difference. Before, you have the most far-right party, the Likud party is the most far-right party Israel's ever had. Ben, again, These guys are the people people almost leader. fascism. So, centrist. Don't you know, do you know your fact? Let me ask you let me ask this question. Enlighten me, please. Okay. Now, you tear deeply. You're, why? Because you're a, a Palestinian, you're a Muslim. Uh, I'm a human being, sir. I'm okay. not a Muslim. Well, I'm if not, you're a human I'm being, Palestinian. Okay. you, I'm care, about, you I'm care about human beings. Yes, sir. And you're an activist. Why aren't you active about the, the 9 million displaced in Sudan? Why aren't you active? <laughs> answer the that's, question. That's hilarious. So, basically, no, what he's saying... Question. Okay, I'm, I'm going to answer it now. What you do just... You, do you, are you can active? Can I answer? Or are you going to interrupt are you again? Are you going to, are you going to keep are interrupting? Are you going to keep interrupting? May I answer his question? Please. Will you stop it? Let him answer the question. You heard James. Will you Thank both you. stop it before anyway. I get cross and I'll show you the door? But now, look, come on. He doesn't want to be no, peaceful. I know, but with I'm trying to find here. between the two of I you. I can't answer are, his questions. You know, you asked me just yeah. now. Where were you when the? That's like saying. Well, that's answer like, the question. Like, I'm no. trying to, Hang but on. your big mouth keeps. I running. don't. How about I you don't. shut up, guys? Nice. I will just terminate the interview well, because we're not getting anywhere. Bring Ash in here. He's more productive than this guy. You don't, want to, you don't want to hear what I have to say. Why, Keith, are I you can't. getting so personal with yeah. him? Why? Why the ad hominem? You are. Wait, wait, I don't believe oh, I am. Oh, oh, oh. Explain the question. Answer the question. I can't, because your big mouth won't stop. 
Are you done? Now, now Goob, you're being personal. Yeah, because the guy's winding you're me up. You're asking, you're asking him you questions. You wind yourself up, mate. No, you wind me up. Me and James you have see, a perfectly this, fine conversation. This, guys, you. both of you this are avoiding my questions. I'm trying to answer it, but well, like answer my question. So he uh, said to me, answer my question. Which forget question? Him or him? Mine. Yes, sir. Let's talk. Uh, forget, forget what you said about oh what about the uh, people in the forget all the other bits of the country i cannot understand sure. why we are focused on this when there are more people dying in other areas of the world at the moment uh -huh. but it seems that this particular war has captured everybody's attention i can tell you there why. has to be a reason and a way to stop it go on the reason why this war is uh, encapsulated media so much is with we're, we're seeing a dynamic shift this has been a injustice for 75 years. As much as this guy wants to paint out, it's just a one-sided affair here, and it's the Islamic and the, the, You're doing the, the Arabs good, are the bad. Go, go. So what what if I said the Jews are the problem, would you not go crazy? I'm would I not be an anti-Semite? If I said Islamic it's the radical, what about the radical Jews? Huh? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, radical, exactly. A radical Jews Jews blowing themselves Goob. up. No, you're, they're blowing you're, children you're up. Goob, you're letting At rates that have never been you're... seen before in modern warfare. Are you not embarrassed that that's Guys, what you're defending? I'm going to have to bring this to an end because because it it really is beginning to embarrass me that you two are embarrassing you and making light of what is a very serious situation you have to stop arguing with each other what i wanted to do today with two of you completely opposed find out where the middle ground could be where we could find peace could it be that the government of israel which seems to be at the moment um, a bit like the government here, as far as the people of Israel are concerned, they don't seem very happy with them. They're having demonstrations over yep. in Israel every week against the government. Yep. So what can we do? I don't think you can force another country to change their government to, to bring peace. Should the, should the United Nations go in there? Could May I? Firstly, I'd like to apologise for getting my emotions up. I don't mean it. So let's just leave that there. So look, here's the issue, okay? For the Palestinians, justice and fairness and equality in human rights has never been a thing for them, okay? British mandate, Ottoman Empire, whatever you want to call it. Now, if we're not going to treat these Palestinians as if they're human beings, and then when they do turn radical, and then when violence does erupt, and we go, oh, it's the Islamists, that means there will never be peace. Because what he doesn't want to do is address the issue, which is Jews came to Palestine as refugees. Don't forget that, sir. So for you to then just be like, it's the Arabs, it's the Arabs, we can't find well, peace without Well, it isn't the Arabs, of because the Arab not. states, most of them are not doing this. Agreed. Iraq Iraq and Iran Agreed, and Syria might actually make it worse, but the Saudi problem, and James, the Egypt... The is we have a population in Gaza and the West Bank, by the way, Thank you. who are radicalised with this ideology that Jews are descendants of pigs and monkeys, that, <laughs> that effectively they are, they are drinking the blood of uh, the Muslims on the Passover feast and all sorts of revolting vile rhetoric. You can look at Palestinian TV. Well, as you know, the probably to, both thing is, of you, the way, as, no, I know as you say. both know, I am completely secular. I find both religions, I'm all secular. religions, completely annoying with the whole thing. However, and they're using it. Now, 30,000 30, Palestinians are reported killed we don't know how many of those figures, were to <laughs> exactly that's all we know at the moment do you not believe hamas you're is so figures? dismissive bro would i believe anything that comes out of hamas i mean well, who's uh, been caught lying more, know, by the way is it hamas or is it your government respect, ha hamas guys, are a radical do you Islamic. do you accept though and the idf aren't do you it well they're what, properly so? trained um no, they're an army you, defending and, its and you don't see them singing songs about genocide but and no, you don't see that, the government like, ministers no, talking about genocide that no. is unfortunately that, social proof. media which is getting in the way and causing too it's many not AI. problems. These are real videos. These are not a lot of them are not. I can't Do you speak think it's for AI? All of them. I think a lot of them When Netanyahu quoted Amalek, was that AI? I that was real. Mahmoud al Zahar. Mahmoud al Sahar said after 9-11, uh, sorry, after the seventh of October, he said the planet will be under our law. There will be no more Jewish and Christian traitors. This is what we're up against. We are up against a radical Islamist enemy that wants you dead, James, me, Jay, me dead, and anything that maybe doesn't want to live. As well. yeah, 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 maybe, maybe so. Anything not under the Sharia law. Goob, do you agree that Hamas has to be stopped? Has to be controlled? I just have has to, to be. I'll ask you a question. With. May I ask? Mm -hmm. Are you Israeli? No. No, you're not. Okay. Are you Israeli or Palestinian? No. no. 
I've got some Palestinian meat, but I'm far removed. I live in the UK. But look, have my, you ever been to Israel? No, I haven't. So, but I've been invited by my best friends, which are Israeli. But Go. nonetheless, I'd, I've been invited day, to Palestine Israel. Free, Where does I that would. put me? I'd even come. Eat, is, I come this is getting to a silly conversation. Guys, guys, back, back, back to me. But here. Hamas is not just a terrorist organisation, as he wants to say. They're also a political movement for a people that have been subjugated for 75 years. Whether or not they are, they're terror- subjugating some of those people. May I, may I say? May I, may I just say? What happened on October 7th is inexcusable. It was a terrorist attack. The civilians that died. It shouldn't have happened. But that being said, in the same breath, there is a scale where the balance is completely off. If you if you right. completely agree with Hamas, disagree with Hamas, mm. right? You also have to say, but why are these fanatics doing all of these terrible terrorist attacks? What, le, don't interrupt me, please. What is it that they want? Whether you want to call it Sharia killing law, guys at home, you can see I'm trying. <clears throat> it's him. It's sh- Sharia law. They want. Brother, you know I didn't. Hey, I didn't, hey, I didn't hey, interrupt hey. you. Please. If you wanted to do, like, if you want to do personal attacks, I can really talk about uh, the extremism. Get back to what you were I can talk about. about it, but I can't, I can't, because the guy won't let me well, finish just, a coherent he, point. Is it Sharia law, which is the problem? I don't know. I'm, I'm not about that. What I'm saying is, there's a reason why these terrorists are doing terrorist attacks. What is it? I'm not saying it's a good thing that they do it, but why? What is it that's lo- leading them towards a direction where Hamas, as you say, is, the, is this terrible Islamic entity, but do why you, don't they choose, I, good, why don't they choose another political option? What do you think about... They haven't had elections listen, since 2016. Listen, okay. What about 7 Just a minute. What, 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 just just a minute, minute guys. What, what do you mean? What's that got God, to do with anything? Listen to me, not each other. <gasps> what do you think about Sharia law? Um, bro, like I said, I'm agnostic, so for me, me too. I think it's crazy that we're in a day and age where we're arguing over 3,000-year-old books. That's my true opinion. What is your thought, Keith, on uh, the fact that a lot of this is caused by the different religions people are following? Look, uh, look. Religion is, has some good points and bad points. Really? Agreed. But, yeah, there are some good points. I think the general tenets Agreed. of the Ten Commandments are good points, James. Well, there are people who take it to extremes. Yeah. Yeah. The trouble we have, as has, has been seen across the world, we have, we've had it 7-7, Manchester, Madrid, um, on the Tunisian massacre. beaches. Al-Shifa Hospital you massacre. You have had... Al-Shifa yeah, Hospital you is... You just is ignore an, is, everything Palestinian. You interrupt. No, I, you, you've been doing it all day. Guys, what a hypocrite. We, we have now <laughs> been right. on my point half an hour. Bro, his guy... Unfortunately. I'm sorry, you so Right. Unbalanced. This I impossible. haven't had an answer. Is there nothing? Do you both want to see the United Nations? I've answered in? coherently. No, twice. the United Nations, James. You have to understand. In the United Nations Security Council, you have veto states, including Russia and China and America. And, right? Why do you leave it out? And we're eccentric. So America. Let me. Let me tell you. Is what do you mean and America? America is they, our Western ally. They use the veto power more than our anybody. Western and who for? Israel. Did you know, look at the numbers? Everyone online. Ally. So How many times I, I, has the veto been hey, used by America to allow Nations war crime in Tunisia? Do you down. want to talk about that? Good yeah, blast. Not talking about anything. Anything. He doesn't I'm, care I'm about anybody but yelling, himself. It's pointless. Because I am trying to do an interview. Listen, this man does not I want I am trying to do an interview to find out where we go to get peace. Last time you were in... You said to me that Hamas were not a terrorist organisation. I didn't say that. I think you did. I think you need to go check the tapes. You said, oh, sorry. You said what you actually said was they were not the problem. I said they were not the problem. Yes, there's yeah. a, they're a symptom of the problem. Okay. Being illegal... <laughs> Why are you interrupting? It's not Why illegal you occupation. Shh. It is an illegal occupation. No, it's not. Bro, oh my guys, God. All right, let me, guys, let me teach you something. Amnesty International, please. Who's, who's interrupting this, now? And to Amnesty International. Let me, let me explain to you. All of the Gaza Gaza Strip or, organizations on the ground. Was it okay, Egyptian? Over me. Gaza Strip was under Egyptian Yeah, and Israel was rule. Palestinian. Did you forget right? that? No, yeah, and the Palestinian flag. Jews held up a sign. A Jews held up a sign that said, the Germans destroyed our homes. Don't you destroy our hopes. Let me just show you. Now, Palestinian authority. Don't bother. Don't bother. You can just go home. Don't bother. Put it away, mate. Yeah, because no. you don't want to hear the truth. It, well, your truth? The PLO, guys, don't in this guy, he's a shill. Um, when Palestinianism was you invented... See, you have, but listen to me, put shill. that down and listen to me. Uh, you, put it down, you, don't be so ridiculous. You don't want peace, you don't, you don't want, want peace. peace. He doesn't the know two anything, of you, The two of you <laughs> are wanting to turn wrong. yourself into media personalities by appearing on programmes like this and arguing, I want to try and find a way forward. And I'm going to ask both of you back. No, I don't want to worry. I am going to invite you both back at some point in the future when we've probably all changed or seen a bit more. But you've got to consider that this continual in the media 
yelling at each other, the continual demonstrations like going through cities calling for kill the Jews. And I know you don't agree that. with that. There have been the a Jews number of people done that. From the river to the sea, kill the Jews That's and everything Israeli else. That's quote, by the way. Did you know it was in the Likud? No, Likud Charter Party, 1977. I from the river to the sea, Israeli sovereignty. The PLA Google Charter, it. Google it. He's lying to you it's again. We Keith, are you, are you Jewish? Keith, are you Jewish? Keith, are you Jewish? Put it down. It doesn't mean anything. Put it down. Why has he got his files in his paper? The way to peace. You really stop it. Because I'm sick of you. I would like to Honestly, why are you bringing people like this on to Don't make. Don't bring people onto the show that don't want peace. That is really it's rude. rude. Oh, it's rude. Somebody. People shushing me all the fucking James. interview. Uh, thank you both. We're going to take a break. Hey, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. And we're on your smart speaking. Now, you ain't going to happen and eve it, me old Chinas, but a new report is calling for a new definition of cockney. All right, Jeremy, me old China. Rosie. All right, oi, oi, treat, go. When J.K. Rowling says, let's just be honest, it's all she's saying, let's just be honest, when a man goes out and kills, we should talk about them as what they are, a biological man. Trans woman is not a woman. Trans woman is a man. Lee would have to go for much further than his statement. I mean, he did say that he spoke clumsily and he understood the Prime Minister's position, but I think he'd need to say that he'd got it wrong. Then I had a phone call this morning um, from Kim City Council, a lovely woman called Anna. And yeah, I've just received an email just saying um, that, yeah, I'm going to be getting a badge. Quite um, right, too. Yay. Quite Yay. right, too. It's that time again to get the violins out. That's right. Prince Harry has lost his bid for UK security after moaning he'd been singled out. They might as well be discussing an invasion of Daleks for all I really get this. <laughs> but, but, but I am now on social media having been dragged off my eight pound Nokia reluctantly kicking and screaming. <laughs> I'm a huge hit on Instagram as you probably know. What are you doing? I'm just about to do it. Ooh! <laughs> it's carry on what just <laughs> happened. <laughs> Whoa, <miss him. laughs> There was a suggestion by some that maybe it would be nice to put a statue of the Queen on the mm. fourth plinth. Mr. Khan apparently wasn't too keen on that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Huh? I know what's I know what's coming and I can't stop laughing. So he suggested alternatives. There's a sweet potato. Uh, that's quite a small statue then. Wasn't there also a prostitute? <laughs> ah, a trans sex worker. You don't really need one of those in Trafalgar Square. You've just got to walk up to Soho. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why do you know this? Because yeah. I know everything. Uh, was he just unlucky getting that question with an ice cream, or is it a sign of something more? Seemed like he was on a uh, late night show to attract a young demographic, and uh, they put him in an ice cream store. I read the statement this morning from the family. And if any police officer reads that statement, if you don't cry for what you read from what the family is saying, it's heartbreaking, then you shouldn't be a police officer. The UK, I'd say, has lots of racism within it. I don't necessarily think it's a racist country, but it permeates our institutions. Yeah, but for her to say, come out and vote, and by the way, when I was 22 years old and I had an affair with a married man that I knew was married, the feminist failed me. I'm sorry. I think like, the feminist did to, fail her. Yeah, we're we're supposed to it was another era. She was 22. Mm. We're supposed to have moved on from that. Don't hark back on no. something you did that was wrong. Talk TV. It's the only place where you get the truth. Uh, right, we're back, and uh, we're back in the room. Uh, you've had a nice. Uh, oh, I had a lovely right, summer. Yeah. I was on the. Now, a look at the did view. Did you? Out there. Yeah, no. What I actually sent you out for, you can be truthful, is this red spot up here. Is a, is really yeah, well, where is it? Why up there? Really, that's why I wasn't here the last few minutes, and I've been out. And um, yep, the aliens are here. It's like the Orson Welles, but this time it is real. So just, but there's nothing you can do about it. What? So just <laughs> relax, man. You know, watch you, the show. He, and... He's talking rubbish. But call no us idea. on this number if you see any, any uh, alien activity. Jill in Cornwall. Good evening to you, Jill. No shouting, Jill. I've got a headache. No, I promise. I, I have no intention of shouting. But can't you, you can just see by watching those two chaps talking, well, not talking, then scrapping like they were, mm. you can see why they can't sort the problem out with Israel and Palestine, can't you? 
I mean, if, if that's two of them and they can't even talk to each other, then you're, we're trying to get mobs together. I wish that they would admit that Hamas is a terrorist organisation. If they both admitted that, then at least that would be something. Well, that they, the do. Of them agree well they do. On. One I of mean, them definitely does. One definitely does, and the other said, yeah, you know, what they did was a terrorist act. So we're getting somewhere. But, you know, there has to be give and take on both sides and there doesn't seem to be any. And unfortunately, what has happened is that these people who go out marching on what a lot of people call the hate marches and shouting out things like death to Israel and all, all of that, which all that didn't happen. I can assure you it did happen and has been caught every many Saturday, times on media. Time. Um, these, these people going out are projecting a, a wrong vi mm. image, in my view, that we're on the side of on one well, side yeah, and it's not, not the, the way, other. It's not no. the way we, we do things. No. We my, my concern is my concern is that there are more people within the marches that want to create and cause trouble right. rather than sort the problem out. That That's is the essence concern. of it, isn't it? Yeah, there's a yeah. lot of that. Jill, thank you for that. It's a very good point. Uh, Wayne in Essex this time. Wayne, good evening. Hello, James. Can you hear me okay? I can, Wayne. Mm. What uh, do you want to say? Wayne? Hello, you, mate. Hello, Asher. All right, man. All right, Wayne. Well, I can understand why you went out the... Uh, yeah, I, just, the I couldn't the, uh, take it anymore. The, uh, I got yeah, I just got to get it. out. Wayne, you're... Listen, well, James, all I want to say, mate, yeah, you have these people on the programme, yeah, I can understand what they're talking about, but you've got that guy on there with it on back and front, full of tattoos, yeah, he's waffling on, he's, he's got... He, 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 Nothing he, wrong with the odd tattoo. Well, yeah, I but he's got a lot, hasn't he? Well, yeah, it's too many. He's over the pudding. It's just the it's ideology. I might have some it. tattoos. Okay. This way up, he's got the arrow as well as on his back. James, he, 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 he probably, he's probably out on the marches every week, and that's the lady was right. These marches are becoming yeah. seriously dangerous, yeah? And there's a lot yeah. of people in this country sick and tired of it. We don't want... We're fed up with it, he's mate. He's got a blowhole at the same So place. what? what would you... What would you, Rash, can you be quiet? What would you suggest then that people do? Take a deep breath and step back? Well, I think what we need to do, that we need to stop the marches for a start yeah. and we need to keep... But we can't we stop freedom of speech in this country. Yeah, but that every week right. we can't afford it. The cost of the policing alone. Exactly. You've got the police, right? You've got people that won't go into London, like myself. I can't even go into London with a poppy on my hat because I'm too frightened to do that, yeah? It's sickening. Well, they attacked the poppy people, people, didn't they, well, in the station? It's not... Right. It's, it, we're nowhere near poppy day, so don't worry too much. Wayne, thank right. you for that. Got... Uh, Tony's in Aberdeen. Tony, good evening. Why is he selling poppies he, at this time? Uh, yeah, I am not a very happy with thank that. Thank you, Tony, very much. It's Ross Abbott. Cool. Uh, Sarah in London. Hello, Sarah, you're on the air. Hello, James. I'm sorry, I'm, I, I, having listened to the last two callers, I, I, I absolutely agree with them, especially well, about the your, guest, your guests in the studio. Mm. It was appalling the way they were behaving to each other, and it makes you despair. How can there ever be peace between nations if these two can't even be civil to each other? They can't even be makes civil. Makes you disappear. So what happens? How do we... How, is it going to be that America and Britain now have to lean on Israel, and then when Hamas, as I've pretty sure they will uh, continue to fight and bomb. Is it then the fact that America and Britain may have to send their own troops in to deal with it? I don't I, know. I, that... fear, I fear you're right. It may come to that because Hamas is never going to step down. And, and, and you know, the sooner that people can, you know, say that they're, they're absolute, t they're horrible, they're terrible. I mean, what they did on the 7th of October can never be forgotten. And I know that awful things are happening in Israel, but it's all because of that. But you two people in the studio just epitomise what the situation well, I is. Well, uh, I was hoping. Step down. They didn't step down. <laughs> they didn't listen to each other. They weren't prepared yep. to listen to yep. each you're, other. You're right. I was hoping we might... Since the, the killing of the aid workers and the, the security yeah. uh, guys uh, yeah, yeah. who were with them from Britain yeah. uh, were killed, then people had to take a, a step back on the Israeli defence side and said, we must try harder, we must be well, very things careful. things happened, that happened, we, we did that in, yeah, in yeah. wars and but America now, have done that. It's not, it's it's no, uh, there's no point actually going down that line because if they were drone-driven... Uh, then the people sitting in their comfy little studios driving the drones don't really get the idea, I don't think, of how serious conflict 
is. But I think what has to happen now is that as America and the British government and people are beginning to really now get fed up with the whole thing, something has to be done. And if Israel can't sort it out without causing the problems they have, well, then the, the rest of the minimum amount of innocent well, people. Well, you know, it, it, unfortunately, the media does have a part to well, play Well, yeah, it's this. a PR problem, but, so, you know, they have to defend themselves. They can't let Hamas... I'm not, nobody's uh, saying they shouldn't re defend themselves. What well, we need to, to do yeah. is we need to bring the attention more on to Hamas and what they are doing. Well, no-one's saying doing. to them, you surrender no. and release the hostages. Sarah, thank cyber. you for that. And that's because we can't get people to talk about it sensibly. Steve in uh, Warsaw. Steve. In Poland. Hello, James. Hello, yeah. Ash. Steve, oh, what can we do for you? I, I, I was watching those two guys earlier on you had on the show. Yeah. And I, I thought to, I thought to myself in the past, why does James have such people on the show? But I'm glad you do, because it shows these people up what they really are. They're troublemakers and anarchists. Well, that's one of the reasons I have people on the show, but I'm hoping that I can you know, be around to have people on the show that really come to a sensible conclusion that this has to stop. We cannot continue like this. Because not only are we killing innocent people, in different conflicts around the world, it's not just happening in the Middle East, it's happening in lots of places. And all the children all over the world that are being brought up in areas where there is conflict are themselves going to be radicalised in the future. You can't help it. And we need to try to stop it. So, yes, yeah, Steve, absolutely correct. Thank you, Steve. Matthew's in... Uh, <coughs> where are you, Matthew? Cheshire. Yes, Cheshire. Matthew. Yep, yeah, hi. Hi, James. Hi, All right, Matthew. Uh, what's, what's going on, uh, man? Well, I've been listening to the programme for quite a bit. Earwigging, eh? Earwigging, yeah. But one of the things is that Israel stole Iran's nuclear secrets about two yeah. years ago. Um, most of this conflict is because of that. Um, well, because, uh, you know, yeah, what, is the, what is the point of bringing all these stories up? It doesn't Why? help solve the... It I doesn't make heard. sense, that, though. I, I haven't mean, heard that. Ir have Israel you? already have the nuclear missile, so what, yeah. why would that... The, Iran would well, still have it if they'd stolen it. It's not like they've nicked the plans and they haven't got the... So what are you talking well, about? Well, on Al Jufrezi, on Al Jufrezi 18 months ago, he had a, an hour episode you want to start oh, watching Israel. all these other strange TV channels, mate? It'll give you a wart. No, no. You don't, what Joe Fraser. Joe Fraser. Joe Fraser. Stole Iran's nuclear secrets. Well, I've not heard that before, have you? But well, I don't get it. What? It, it doesn't on, make sense. No, 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 no. I wouldn't believe anything I saw sense. on Google. Thank you. David's in uh, Newcastle. Newcastle. David, good evening. Can Wait, you hey, man. Shout well, it's majority in me, isn't it? Yes, David. Yes, good. The last caller, Al Jafrazi. Isn't that a curry? It is. Jail Fraser, yeah. And very nice. Is, yeah. so. He talks about that they stole yeah. the secrets in, in like, a, it came in a jail phrasing. <laughs> Sounds like That's it. how they smuggled no, it out. Fair, guys, yeah. um, the whole issue, in, in my opinion, my belief is religion, money, oil, and politics. Yeah. Well, I think, you know, you're probably nearer the truth than anybody well, it's else. It's all about been, money and gangsters, that's isn't That's the it? whole mm -hmm. world, I'm afraid, in this one situation. Thank you, David. Stephen's in uh, Glasgow. Stephen, good evening. Hi. Hey. Yes, Stephen. Hey. Hi. It's a bit um, the hate crime. Stephen, it's are awful. you... Uh, uh, do you the non-crime hate you, crime. Yeah, crime. Yeah, right, OK. The crime yeah. of crime. Stephen, talk to me. No. no sorry, Tibbs. The Celtic's playing Rangers tomorrow. An old firm derby. Celtic Range is old firm derby, and there's going to be loads of hate, non hate, hate, non crime, crime reported. So glad I'm not in Scotland, and yeah. so glad I hate football. Don't go to the match <laughs> unless you're ready. <laughs> Apparently, Hamza Youssef has had more complaints yeah. about his, his own one about going wits. than anybody else in Scotland. He kept on saying everyone was white in leadership, yeah. and then look at all the Absolutely. leaders, they're not white. Yeah, uh, yeah <laughs> Stephen, thank you very much indeed for that. You know, it's it's uh, really quite difficult to be... To be white well, these days. It's, it's this and also that thing. advert, the hate crime, it's all basically about working class hate crime. It's it's not really aimed at the middle class Scottish. You know, it's very, it's very specific, really. Oh. Cunning. Julie in East Yorkshire. Julie, hello. Hi. Hi, Julie. What do you want? Sorry, who are you? You, you don't know who he is? 
Do you not? Do you Julie. know who I am, <laughs> Julie? Okay. Hi, hi, Ash. Oh, hi. Yeah. she knows who I am. Oh, that doesn't oh, matter. Why, that's it? James Whale. Bye, Julie. Yeah. Never mind. Um, I think that's it. I think we'll take a break. Minute and well, a half. minute and a half, to be quite honest. Well, I'm going to go do, out do, and scream. Julie, bring Julie back. Solution to the problem. Go on, go for it. So the solution is get women around the table. The mothers of the boys that are being lost and slaughtered. Mm. I agree. Side. I think that's a really good point. Mm. If women ran the world, we would be in a safer place. I didn't expect well, not like myself Margaret to Thatcher. say that. She was a bit of a war monger, well, wasn't no. she? Mm. But and look at Boudicca. Great lady, we need someone like that in Parliament now. Yeah, I mean, do you have? Do you, these other countries, they don't allow women in politics or anything. Golda they? Meir, she was pretty hard, hardcore, wasn't she? Well, I'm on about the situation right now. I think it could be solved if we got women and the women that have lost boys in the war. I mean, the boys in Russia, innocence, OK, they've got Putin there. I think that if the mothers were there in a big sort of, um, I don't know, conference... I think and you're probably very near to what we need. You the know. sons of the leaders never get sent to war. They, they never would risk their, no, own, right. their yeah. own children. No. Absolutely. Yeah. They send the cannon fodder. Good, Julie. Over. Well, thank you very much indeed. That um, that that that's covered about a minute of it. Finished so the three, first three hour. Seconds, thank goodness. Three, In the second hour, we're going to talk about the University of California, uh, which won't to be allowed to to let white people in mm. on Saturdays. Quite right. Yeah. Never mind the ballot. A brand new look at all things politics from the Sun with me, Harry Cole. Watch my big end of the week with no stone unturned. Every Thursday evening, exclusively with The Sun. Republic of Mike Graham. Weeknights at 8 on Talk TV. This is Talk TV. Hey, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. And we're on your smart speaker. Now, you ain't going to happen and eve it, me old Chinas, but a new report is calling for a new definition of cockney. All right, Jeremy, me old China. Rosie. Right, oh, oi, oi, treat girl. When J.K. Rowling says, let's just be honest, that's all she's saying, let's just be honest, when a man goes out and kills, we should talk about them as what they are, a biological man. Trans woman is not a woman, trans woman is a man. Lee would have to go for much further than his statement. I mean, he did say that he spoke clumsily and he understood the Prime Minister's position, but I think he'd need to say that he'd got it wrong. And I had a phone call this morning um, from Kim City Council, a lovely woman called Anna. And yeah, I've just received an email just saying um, that, yeah, I'm going to be getting a badge. Quite um, right too. Yay. Quite Yay. right too. It's that time again to get the violins out. That's right. Prince Harry has lost his bid for UK security after moaning he'd been singled out. Now, you might as well be discussing an invasion of Daleks for all I really get this. <laughs> but, but, but I am now on social media having been dragged off my eight-pound Nokia, reluctantly kicking and screaming. <laughs> I'm a huge hit on Instagram, as you probably know. What are you doing? I'm just about to do it. Ooh! Ooh! It's carry on <laughs> what just happened. <laughs> Whoa, listen. There was a suggestion by some that maybe it would be nice to put a statue of the Queen on the mm. fourth blimp. Mr Khan apparently wasn't too keen on that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I, know it's, I know it's coming and I can't stop laughing. <laughs> so he suggested alternatives. There's a sweet potato. That's quite a small statue, then. Wasn't there also a prostitute? <laughs> ah, <laughs> a trans sex worker. You don't really need one of those in Trafalgar Square. You've just got to walk up to Soho. So <laughs> <you know. laughs> yeah. Why do you know this? Because yeah. I know everything. Uh, was he just unlucky getting that question with an ice cream, or is it a sign of something more? Seemed like he was on a uh, late night show to attract a young demographic, and uh, they put him in an ice cream store. I read the statement this morning from the family, and if any police officer reads that statement, if you don't cry for what you read from what the family is saying, it's heartbreaking, then you shouldn't be a police officer. 
The UK, I'd say, has lots of racism within it. I don't necessarily think it's a racist country, but it permeates our institutions. Yeah, but for her to say, come out and vote, and by the way, t when I was 22 years old and I had an affair with a married man that I knew was married, the feminist failed me. I'm sorry. I think like, the feminist what, what, did fail to, her. Yeah, we're supposed it to was another era. She was 22, mm. we're supposed to have moved on from that. Don't hark back on no. something you did that was wrong. Talk TV. It's the only place where you get the truth. This is Talk TV. Good morning, it's just gone six o'clock. I'm Jeremy Kyle. And I'm Nicola Thorpe. Welcome to Talk Today. That was the woke that was 10 o'clock on Saturday night. We've got Lois Perry and Pete Barnes and the deputy leader of Reform UK's our star guest, Ben Habib, and this useless bloody rabbit. <laughs> All right, good evening. Welcome to James Whale Unleashed with uh, what's his face over here. Um, listen, if At you. Virtual Ash. Thank you. If you would like to uh, call us 0344 499 1000. Uh, if you're Listening. easily offended, as you may have seen in the first hour of the show, uh, this is not the program for you. You should be looking at something else. Yeah, that's what uh, I did. Or listening, for those of you on talk radio, uh, to something else. But would like to hear your calls. And uh, as you probably know, I don't have any calls vetted on this show. Yeah. Funnily enough, maybe, That's what some, they of, tell him. maybe yeah. some of the other programs should take advice, then you wouldn't hear the same callers on every program. Uh, so, you know, if you've never got through before, try tonight and I'll put you on. 03444991000. Before we start this hour of the program, I'd like to show you something, and I think you will be very entertained. Look at this. Oh, so here we are. Side your head. This is uh, Nigel Farage's 60th birthday party. I have got to tell you that I had left by that time um, and it was very entertaining. Is that is that Vanessa down no. there in red? Um, and who is in the middle in the green skirt where you can... Car it's Carol Vorderman. Is it Carol Vorderman? Yeah, Carol Vorderman. I don't think there, it yeah. is, no. Yeah. What on earth are you doing? Oh, oops, upside your head. I said, oops, upside your head. How come, Ooh. even to friends of mine like Nigel, you're always there? Well, Nigel and I it... are great chums. I asked Nigel about that. Yeah. No, no he is. He never oh. met you. He, he is. Said he he's just never texted me. He actually thanked your dear self for, for him knowing me. Because I, I met through you. <laughs> Sorry, Nigel, about that. I apologise. At uh, your first mm -hmm. ever, uh, it was for your kidney cancer. Mm -hmm. 20, I think, odd years ago now. Five. Could well have been. Could well have been. So, anyway, what were you doing flinging yourself on the floor? Because it's called Oops Upside Down. You, know, no, no. you, 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 you were a DJ, DJ back then. You were doing. I never. I didn't go side to side. But I thought I was going you? the right way. Everyone else was going the wrong way. I, I never did that sort of DJ. Oops I was pretty ups. cool, you know? Pretty cool. That was, it was cool. cool. It was cool. It was cool. cool. But was I have to say. Who did it? Cool and the gang? No, it was cool and the gang. It was great. It's been so nice. Just a minute. It was cool and the gang. Not hearing people talk over each other. The gap band. It was a great party, though. Nigel did an epic party. Yeah. And I stayed. I was one of the last to go with Charlie Mullins. Oh, yeah, so you should have been ashamed of yourself. He's had about six passes, no, hasn't he? I'll tell mm. you why. My train. This is a. This is the trains just cancelled itself, so I couldn't get home. Right. Let's. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, that's, so that's, that's our train service. Yeah, why don't Charlie give you his role? Can I voice? actually just before we just go and do some of these topics? I want to talk, get your view from being a social media commentator. Um, the rail drivers in parts of the country have gone back on strike. I, I think I said on social media earlier in the week they get 60 grand minimum a year. At 60 least, grand at least. minimum For, a year. I know. Is that my phone? Let me, phone turn, off. Let me turn it off. Um, First 60, rule of broadcasting. Yeah, I know. Sorry about that. Well, it's not. Um, 50, 50 years, years in the business. In the business and and I forget to. Off. Yeah. So, anyway, listen. <laughs> 50 years. Listen. They're striking. 
It's a job any nut could do. We don't need a human being to be a train driver. <laughs> it can be done by a well, machine. Yeah. This job will soon be done well, by a machine. Well, bus driving's yeah, far... what you wish for, it will be soon, and they won't have any job to Bus driving's for. far more difficult. Mm. Yeah, You've got to steer and look at... Your... As driving. a young lady trying to get home at yeah. night... Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, you did you just say a pretty young lady trying young to get lady, home? Young lady, thank you, trying to get home at night, and it's just cancelled. Luckily, I looked it up mm. on my phone. And, and if you do it... manage to get a, a public transport, it's dangerous. Well, I, I saw all Twitter going mad about it, so I thought, right, I'll stay and have a drink with Charlie Mullins. Did he not give you a lift? Did he lend you one of his... It's he did, he cars. did, he was very kind. Yeah, he's very nice like that. He's a yeah. lovely chap. We yeah, had man. a grand time yeah, and we danced away and um, it was a great night. Tell us to about... Celebrate. And Trump made an appearance as well, Donald Trump. Trump I would have got, yeah, he's great. I he's was good. sitting next to Lady W and she said to me, do you know, that guy is such a good impersonator. Yeah. <laughs> I said, that is Donald Trump. <laughs> she <laughs> said... But... A lot of people thought it was uh, an impersonator that just came on. I know. I was next to an MP, I can't remember his name, and he thought it was an impersonator. He said, the guy's the best one I've seen. It was that good. It was that good. But um, he didn't look as orange as normal. He was, uh, and he, he loves Nigel, obviously. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, but what's Nigel going to do next? That's the thing. Mm. That was everyone's question. OK. But, um, well, what about Netflix? Lots... Let's yeah, talk no, about listen. that. Scooped. Scooped. Oh, hang on, We've hang got on. the promo here. Have we got a, pic yeah, got a bit of a clip Run the VT. Everything's changed. The FBI are raiding Epstein's home. You can't stay silent. South drawing room, two chairs, six feet apart. It's like a Western. Make no mistake, if we don't get the tone right, the story won't be him. It'll be us. Your Royal Highness. <laughs> Who's playing Andrew? Rufus Sewell, who oh. I went to college with. He's a friend of mine. Oh, Rufus. why didn't we realise uh, that he was Rufus. a friend of mine? Uh, he is. I w he went uh, to Rufus. Richmond he, College with me. Rufus. He is Rufus. a friend of mine. And um, Rufus. Emily Maitlis is being played by uh, Jennifer uh, Anderson. Yes. Don't look anything like her. Billy Piper's featuring in it. And well, she's the star, isn't she? The producer that this is, who wrote this. And it's basically about Emily Maitlis getting all applauded, but really it was this woman producer should have got it and the yeah. BBC ignored her and I think made her... And so she has now got this She's, and it's a big hit. Yeah, and, and do you know what? Uh, a friend of mine is just who watched McAllister. it last night. Sam McAllister. It, Rufus Sewell, you'd never think he'd play Prince Andrew, yeah. but he is brilliant. He looks like him. And you wouldn't think he would look like him. He doesn't even thought, sweat as well. <laughs> he doesn't no, sweat. Amazing. But it, it's terribly good. And look, that, that interview is probably the most disastrous mm. ever interview of all time. It wasn't yeah, a good yeah. interview because she... She just let, there were bits in it she could really have gone and, and wound it up and she obviously just think I'll sit there let him let, let him talk let him hang know. himself that's what some yeah. do the well, first rule well if you of... should have done it James and there'd mm. be a Netflix well we would had a huge argument on and Andrew would have fallen out with me and walked off what is the worst interview ever there was the Tom Cruise on right Oprah okay let's move on Hamza Youssef has received more complaints under Scotland's oh. new hate crime bill than J K Rowling well yes well. I'm so useless, we call him, but mm. that might be a hate crime if I call him that. It might be, so um, be careful. Has re just a fact. received more complaints under Scotland's but new hate want... crime? Res this bill yeah. is an absolute ludicrous joke. I want to know. It's not viable. If we say something that is considered to be a hate crime on this programme, so I've got to hit Well, us. do it. There's only one way to find out. Do a hate crime and let's see if they come for you. Um, what, what could we do? Well, but you're listen, doing it, not we. You do it. Can I tell you we'll... the crazy thing about this? Tomorrow, there's the biggest football match, Rangers yep. against Celtic. The old firm derby. There's going to be 60,000 mm. fans saying all sorts of stuff. Are, are the police going out there to arrest them for their for their hate speech? I mean, 60,000 is just one. Each. How, are the, how is this supposed to be policed? It's absolute. It's a farcical. But Hamza is useless. What well, he is Hamza useless. Hamza is probably the worst person you could have ever chosen to be a leader. Uh, Hamza is for himself and no one else. Every time Hamza goes and makes uh, a speech, is really condescending and patronising. He's got his own foreign policy. He's not he's, meant to do he's that. He's and, weak and yeah. inept. And I'm going to say something now. Come back, Jimmy Cranky. That's what I'm going to say. And yeah. I never thought and I'd say that. And bring your motor home. You can stay. Yeah. 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 Because this is. I mean, mm -hmm. how it, and also people can make up stuff that you've said stuff. Yeah. 
Um, and it still gets logged for life. Logged. You know what I mean? So, and there's there's nothing here in his uh, legislation about protecting but women. But what I don't understand is why didn't Police Scotland, or they're just too weak and feeble? Exactly. Why didn't like they the say, this is not a law that we have time to no. actually... Yet, you know, we're living in a time, and this is really going to piss me off enormously, so I apologise. We're living in a time where if you get burgled, which is a, like a rape of your mm. life, in my view, mm. if you get burgled, that somebody has come into your life, forced themselves into mm. your life, taken stuff that may well not be that valuable, but may have really mm. deep meaning for you, you call the police, you might get somebody in a couple of days, and you might not, OK? You have a car accident... You will get on the motorway, but if you if you know you have a car stolen, then the police aren't in the slightest bit interested at all. In fact, the police aren't interested in anything unless they get called by somebody and say, "That James Whale, he said something yeah. really horrible about me, and I want him stopped." Well, they're flying the union flag, and then they'll be right yeah, round. Scotland has got so many problems at the minute. It's got yeah. a massive caused by the one issue party. Massive uh, drug crime, uh, knife Stabbing. crime. Yeah, he's he's doing this. It was all and right twenty years ago. They sorted it all he's, out. He's yeah. um, basically, I think, trying to score political points using the minority groups. That's exactly what he's doing. Yeah. Exactly what he's doing. And um, um, he's using the trans community yeah. actually and it came out on april fool's day the law so i yeah. thought it, it maybe yeah. is an april fool possibly. i do think all chief constables should be sacked well if they let this go through uh, i mean this is a this is yeah. a complete joke it's not going to work Sorry, all, it's chief, right. all chief constables because they are more interested in their careers than anything else yeah. and start again Yes, start okay. again. But as you said, which we're going to come on to, about burglary victims are not being attended to no. after the reports of um, the British police forces take up to 28 mm. hours to arrive. Over a day. And it's disgusting. They'll have gone by then. I was burgled. Mm. I was very lucky that in my village there happened to be a police car very mm. near me when, when I got burgled. Um, but it was By terrifying. legal people who've come in. Is that still an ongoing case? Still though? an ongoing case. We better not case. talk about it. But yeah. can I tell you the after effects? So any, you know, it, it, trauma. It, it's mm. so traumatic. Because it is an ongoing case, it probably is best not. No, but no. generally burglary yeah. is a, a very traumatic. Burglary is, is a, a rape, yeah. a rape of your life. Of your property. Yeah. Somebody breaks into your yeah. home, your world, that is a rape of it your is. life. And we don't seem to take it very seriously. Some people have to move house after that. And you're that, not yeah. allowed to attack, you know, protect yourself. You are. Yeah. You're in reasonable force. You surely Remember are. Remember the chap you in are. Norfolk where he, his, his mm. uh, father Well, he was. got found innocent because of that. And actually, he technically wasn't, but there was such a furore in public yeah. interest. Because he shot him in the back as I ran So any crime, really, they get, just get away yeah. with it. But so if, no if, if anybody broke having. into your house and you happen to have... I don't know, a, a bow and arrow or a uh, You've just got to or... show the court you're in fear of your... You've got to show it was reasonable. If you thought you, you were going to be yeah. killed, you might hit yeah. them and... and they I might... had a really good idea some years ago. Yeah, can you? Oh, that was oh, really? Yeah. Stop press. I, no, I, I said it on the air a few times and people got really upset, but they couldn't work out whether I was pretending or serious. Oh. But I thought, bring back the death penalty for car theft. Because the lower down the, the cause of... Yeah. Mm. You're less likely to do it. Yeah. yeah. And it's then you're less likely to do anything yeah. worse. Exactly. You know, exactly. very rational. And maybe hang the old person outside a garage who was... And what, the murderers <laughs> just give them a few years. Yeah, but if you, if, you, if, you if you don't punish the small crimes, it's just going to get worse, yeah. and that's what's Broken happening. Broken windows, yeah. their policy. I'm so, sorry to say, it's a bit off. I thought you had the ready uh, glow around you. There's like a red light that's going around your head. That's an alien. Uh, oh. I mean, wow. unfortunately. Yeah. Okay, yeah. right, sorry We've about We've got that. people checking it out. You shouldn't have mentioned it. Sorry. Um, so that's light, our window. Yeah. Just yeah. like your head's yeah. red and glowing. Anyway, uh, moving Thank you on. Thank for that. Now... I'll decide when we move on. <laughs> you go back sorry. to that cheap old channel you occasionally appear on. No, I've yeah, got a very, yeah, go a very back important there. I've topic. I've, I've, I've got a I, very I, important topic. Just a minute, yeah. We gave you these topics to talk about. Oh, we'll decide. I mean, honestly, I'm not having her on again if she behaves like this, Chuck. I'm really not. Has it gone to her? That news channel's gone to her head. Mm. Mm, careful. Um, the University of California, oh. do you know about that? Mm. Uh, has um, been accused of systematic racism. Do you know why? After banning white people. Mm from its community farm on Saturdays. What, what so is, what why is white happening? people banned on a Saturday? Um, why do this? Why 
do it. And California is becoming the most woke state There's not ever. enough black farmers, is what they're saying. Oh, it's like the they, they were country, saying. Well, yeah. they were saying. John Craven said. I said it last the week. The country's the racist. The countryside is racist. Mm. Yeah, and that which is a load of nonsense. Of course, if you want to be a farmer, then go and be a farmer. There's your colour of your skin is not going to stop you. But you know, white people are mainly in the you know, those because because people who immigrated like to live in cities and communities and do. But whereas mm. old white English families yeah. are British or Scottish. Well, farming. they're very lucky that old English families want to There's the black farm. farmer. There are black it's people It's a very in hard here. job. It's a tough job. But, but they're just... At the moment, there's going to be a new show, I think I heard somewhere coming out, uh, where... Yeah, apparently Jeremy a, Clarkson's going to do one about it. A farm, uh, or a number of farms, yeah. been, an old farm's been split up into a number of um, farms, and they're looking for tenants. So they're going to have competition... Um, like serfdom. ...to, to find yeah. tenants for these farms. And so yeah. it's somebody who thought... I can't afford a farm. My family's not here. I could never afford to buy one. But you could afford to be a tenant farmer. It's oh, a good idea. Remember Rebecca Lewis did that, the farm programme with the pigs? Yes, I remember it she well. She milked the pigs. Um, Penis. Yes, well, it's not called did. milking. I don't think but it's, it's called milking. it's very hard job being a farmer. But I look, I live farm, in a lovely rural village. We're not racist at all. It doesn't... Colours doesn't come into anything. And you don't see many black sheep. And I want to say hello oh, to Odium Curry House, my favourite. What? I'm going for a curry at my village after Joe this. Fraser. Where? Yeah, in Odium. In your village? Because you heard that oh. caller earlier. Um, OK, so the University of California is a bunch of prats, basically. We'll Liberal. only have black people coming uh, to Farming our farm on Saturdays. On Saturdays. Mm. That is totally racist. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Let's finish on a hosepipe ban. Who is yes. looking forward to a hosepipe ban? Apparently, yeah, yeah. there is going to be one. There is going to be one, and it's going to be this summer... In the UK, yet again, another hose pipe ban, in, despite it being the wettest in the last 18 months since records began. Apparently, no so one's ever been done for it, though, this crime. So it's a non law. law, law if, it's non -law. just unbelievable what's going no on with the water been. companies and everything else. Well, it's because the water companies do are it. run by ignorant, excuse me, people. Yes, who don't know what they're doing and, and making loads and of money. Making, yeah, and, and they're not saving a right amount of water because what nature does is, after it's been very wet, it's always very dry. But that's why they brought all those beavers back. They well, brought the beaver back and it was meant to sort all this out. We've got Storm Kathleen hmm. tonight. Yeah. Storm Kathleen yeah, is rice. happening. But um, my friend is in Mayo, County Mayo. They can't plant. And, and anyway, all the crops are gone. It's been so wet. And it's been so awful. You need to get over there and work on a few farms. And at the I boat like race, you. the boat race love, last love. week, they can't yeah. throw their cocks in anymore at the yeah. end because they get ill. Well, exactly. You get E. coli and all sorts of I stuff. I think that's a good time to say, go and have a nice curry. Thank you very much, and James. And we'll see you later. See you next week. Why do you, you say week, stuff yeah. like throw your no, cocks not, in the river? No, I mean, they do. It's tradition to toss in, to, you know, yeah. don't your cocks into the... Well, don't say it when we're back. And they got ill. We're on break. Don't do it. How are you going to stop the votes? This is an international problem. How's that going for your party? I'm a millennial. You're a Victorian, I think. <laughs> this helps weather people. I'm going to help the vet's office. <laughs> I'm Jeremy Kyle. And I'm Nicola Thorpe. Welcome to Talk Today. Hey, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. And we're on your smart speaker. Now, you ain't going to happen and eve it, me old Chinas, but a new report is calling for a new definition of cockney. All right, Jeremy, me old China. All right, Oi, oi, treat girl. When J.K. Rowling says, let's just be honest, that's all she's saying, let's just be honest, when a man goes out and kills, we should talk about them as what they are, a biological man. Trans woman is not a woman, trans woman is a man. Lee would have to go for much further than his statement. I mean, he did say that he spoke clumsily and he understood the Prime Minister's position, but I think he'd need to say that he'd got it wrong. And I had a phone call this morning um, from Kim City Council, a lovely woman called Anna. And yeah, I've just received an email just saying um, that, yeah, I'm going to be getting a badge. Quite um, right too. Yay. Quite Yay. right too. It's that time again to get the violins out. That's right. Prince Harry has lost his bid for UK security after moaning he'd been singled out. 
They might as well be discussing an invasion of Daleks for all I really get this. <laughs> but, but, but I am now on social media having been dragged off my eight pound Nokia reluctantly kicking and screaming. <laughs> I'm a huge hit on Instagram, as you probably know. What are you doing? I was just about to do it. Ooh! Ooh! It's carry on what just happened. <laughs> Whoa, listen. There was a suggestion by some that maybe it would be nice to put a statue of the Queen on the mm. fourth blimp. Mr. Khan apparently wasn't too keen on that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Huh? I know it's I know it's coming and I can't stop laughing. <laughs> so he suggested alternatives. There's a sweet potato. Uh, that's quite a small statue then. <laughs> wasn't there also a prostitute? <laughs> oh, a trans. Sex worker. You don't really need one of those in Trafalgar Square. You've just got to walk up to Soho. So <laughs> yeah. Why do you know this? Because yeah. I know everything. Uh, was he just unlucky getting that question with an ice cream, or is it a sign of something more? Seemed like he was on a uh, late night show to attract a young demographic, and uh, they put him in an ice cream store. I read the statement this morning from the family. And if any police officer reads that statement, if you don't cry for what you read from what the family is saying, it's heartbreaking, then you shouldn't be a police officer. The UK, I'd say, has lots of racism within it. I don't necessarily think it's a racist country, but it permeates our institutions. Yeah, but for her to say, come out and vote, and by the way, when I was 22 years old and I had an affair with a married man that I knew was married, the feminist failed me. I'm sorry. I think like, the feminist we're, we're, we're did fail to, her. Yeah, we're supposed to have moved on from that. Era. She was 22, mm. we're supposed to have moved on from that. Don't hark back on no. something you did that was wrong. Talk TV. It's the only place where you get the truth. Hey, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. I mean, there's quite a lot of game playing going on here. Oh, don't start me on that. <laughs> there's a sort of feeling they ought to look as if they're doing something. So don't accuse anyone else of stoking culture wars. Such is the smoke and mirrors of, of politics. Ruminating and fulminating and debating and voting and God knows what. Said they couldn't back the party's position. But the government has got to be more flexible. It's starting to sound like a very expensive show, this, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, hi, so thanks for having me on the show. Uh, I'm Daniel, I'm 22, and I'm a spokesperson for Youth Demand. Well, so I miss world. <laughs> well, good for you. Thank you. Uh, but, uh, if you could answer the question. Yes, of course. So Youth Demand is calling on the government to immediately cease the licensing of new fossil fuel, fuel projects and to revoke the over 100 uh, fossil fuel licenses granted in the last couple of years by the Conservative government. Uh, we're also calling on the government to immediately halt uh, the sale of weapons to Israel and the import of weapons from Israel. And what do you think uh, will be the result of that? The result of our demands? Yep. If, if we're successful? Yep. Um, well, hopefully, Obviously, yes. <laughs> hopefully uh -huh. it will be to limit human suffering around the world. We know yes. that... Uh, in Israel, these weapons produced here in the UK are being used to yep. uh, bomb innocent To defend civilians. themselves, aren't they? But what, hang on just a minute. What happens when Britain finds itself threatened by another country? What do we do then? Well, I, I think what I'm asking for is very simple here. It's just to stop selling weapons to a country that the yeah. international courts have well, accused that, of genocide. You know, they haven't, have they? They haven't, no. But so you got that wrong. Let me forget that for a moment. Let me try and find out a bit more about how your mind works. What are you going to do, your organisation, you personally, if, as is being suggested, there may well be bringing back the conscription of people of your age and uh, saying you have to join the forces for a couple of years, would you be prepared to do it? Once again, I'm here on behalf of Youth Demand. I'm here to speak Just about our demands. Just answer the questions I ask you. But I'm not very informed on this stuff. I didn't oh, even okay, know they fine, were... That's fine. That's fine. Amazing. All you have to do is be truthful. OK. Um, so Youth Demand are basically an organisation you're asking for Britain to stop selling arms. To Israel. Oh, yes. can we still sell them to uh, Ukraine? Our demand is very simple: is to stop selling, is to stop selling weapons to Israel, where they are being used yeah. to bomb innocent civilians. But what effect would that have? Because we only sell 0.02 percent of the weapons Israel uses. But hang, hang on, no why, problem. Why, we need stuff for more by not being able to yeah. get their just drones and technology. Stop it! Back to the question I asked you that he stomped all over. What about the innocent women, children, men dying? in Russia, Ukraine, Sudan, many other places around the Syria. world, Syria. Yemen. But only you're only interested in the Palestinians, is that right? Well, right now we're, we're very focused on this campaign. Our government is complicit in the genocide. We're, we're selling weapons to the side, which is, you know... We sell a lot more friends. to Saudi Arabia who bomb uh, Yemen. Should we stop selling to Saudi Arabia who bomb innocent civilians <laughs> in Yemen? Um, yeah, I'm, a, I'm against the killing of innocent civilians well, have you around thought, the world. You haven't thought about that, have you? Why didn't you? Well, right, right now we're very focused on, on these demands. Yeah, because that's been going on much longer than Yemen. It's been but going on for many hang years. On, hang on, hang on, hang you're, on. You're joining forces with Palestinian action. Palestine action. Oh, sorry. My mistake. No worries. Palestine action. Um, how far are you prepared to go to make... You know, anybody can say, I want uh, ceasefire, I want us to stop selling weapons... Anybody can ask for it, but it, it isn't going to happen. So what are you going to do? Uh, we're prepared to take whatever action is non-violently necessary to stop uh, this genocide. Are you calling for Hamas to surrender and release the hostages? Ash, Ash just a minute. Just don't... But that's Ash, important. No. What are you is calling important? for the hostages Ash, to be released? Ash, what is important is to know exactly what they're going to do. Right. So what are you going to do which is non-violent like to, so to bring this about? Like I said, we're a non-violent civil resistance group. You keep group. telling me that. You sit in a road and glue yourself to it. Well, I am not um, part of the planning or whatever you call it. Right. For, but if they ask the you to sit in a road and glue yourself to it, you will. Well, uh, if you two want to find out what we're going to do, I suggest you come on Monday or on Wednesday to Victorian Bank and Gardens at 12. I don't and think you can join our, come. Be join our actions. Will you disrupt snooker matches? Like I said, I haven't been involved anyway, in the... What about my question about should they Hamas release the hostages? Well, um, Ash, sorry, is that your name, Ash? Yeah, yeah. yeah well, uh, as, as a country, yes, as, so a, gov no, as, so as a government, we sell weapons to Israel. We don't sell Should weapons Hamas to Hamas. Should Hamas release hostages? Like I said, I have no influence. You see influence. my finger? Yes. Follow it with your eyes. OK. Yeah. OK. Um, do you think somebody's brainwashed you about this? I don't think so. Well, you don't seem to know much about it. Why would you sign up for something when you don't actually know what they expect you to do? Well, James, every day I wake up and I see terrible, terrible images on my phones. I saw. Well, I saw looking every week. at your phone. I mean, I, there are pretty awful images everywhere you yeah, look on you social be doing media. That. You can't type. I it. get upset when they do that commercial about the donkeys. Yeah. yeah, and I get upset when I see a picture of a child that's starved to death. Yeah. 
Well, you don't see too many of those, and some of them, I'm Not if they're in Yemen, you don't mind. Made you. up. Uh, what about all the other kids? What about people here who are finding it difficult to feed themselves? What about people who are on the streets who are homeless? What about people in this country? I think that's terrible. We have a broken political system. So why system. aren't you doing something about it? We have a broken political system. It's not system. fashionable. Yeah, but you've got a broken political system, you think, but you're not prepared to do anything political about it. You're, you're threatening um, action. And what is that? Non-violent action? Of course. Not much non-violent action. But you don't call for the hostages cease. to be released. Well, look, a majority of the British public uh, want, mm. want a ceasefire. They don't want to see this genocide happening in Israel. Yet, so the, yet our government... So he wants the hostages released, which is yet, very telling, isn't it? Yeah, our government ref refuses to stop selling weapons to you Israel. You won't say anything about the hostages. Even though the vast majority of people in this country want that. I mean, that tells you everything we say need to know about the political system. It's on. broken, and Hold as on. young people, we deserve better. Hold on. You're young. You have got any life experience at all. I, I remember when, back in the 60s, I'd be saying the same thing as you and thinking what an old fart that is. But with the benefit of life and looking back on it, I can tell you that what you're, you're doing in a, 10 years or so, you'll be doing a sort of fairly mundane job probably and, uh, and getting on making money for your uh, family. And at the moment, you think you can radically change the political state of this country. So who will you vote for? Well, look, I have a lot of respect for both of you as, you know, older people than me, but right now there's How a... How do you know that I'm older? There, right now there's a genocide unfolding and I can't simply sit no. by and do nothing. Well, what are you going to do? I keep asking and you avoid the question. I, 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 keep, I, keep, I keep telling you, I'm not, I'm not on the planning... Why you know. are you avoiding the Hamas hostage question? Why won't you say that, really? Chuck, shut up for a minute. Ah, shut what? up. Why did you come in for an interview if you have no answers to any of the questions. Did you come in and think, I'll get a bit of free publicity for uh, our do next week? No, I think I think I do have answers to the important questions. Go on, this, then, tell this, me this is not a very complicated issue. I, I wake up and I see images of children yeah. starving so, to death, for, okay. and I can't stand for right. that. So but I want to do something. You don't mind hostages being killed. Can we stop in, now in, for in, a moment? What are you going to do about that? Nobody well, wants to see innocent people killed. Nobody. Unfortunately. Well, Hamas do. Unfortunately, if you're in a state of war, that happens. You, you know, I'm sure you've done your history. You know how many innocent people Britain died during, uh, Britain killed during the Second World War. But that's history. Both sides, uh, all sides on that, killed millions of innocent people. What I'm asking you is, you've got this organisation called Youth Demand, stupid name anyway. Um, you're demanding a ceasefire and the non-selling of weapons or bits of weapons to, uh, to Israel. That isn't going to happen. I'm asking you the simple question, so what are you going to do? We're going we're gonna to take the fight to the people who are complicit in this genocide. And what are you going to do? I mean, it could be you and me complicit You're going to throw this. things on snooker tables and disrupt... Well, snooker, listen, you know, if people want to find out what, they're, what we're going to do, they can I'm join, they can join us. 12, 12 we're not bothered by it. Hang on. This is your hobby, mate. This is something that turns you on. You've got a little smile creeping across your face. Have you got a trust fund? Are you from one... You don't know, that's all, a lot of people from in your protest movement come from very upper-class families, you know, yeah. with trust funds and no so, job. You don't have a job, have, have you? Have you been to university? Uh, I am at university right yeah, now. What are you studying? Biochemistry. Biochemistry. Yeah. So you want to be a, a, somebody in that line of business, helping people out? I guess so. Well, I don't know. You, you're the one who should know. It's your life. doesn't know anything. But you, you know, this is, you, you've really got to look at yourself. You're doing this as a hobby. And I'm telling you now that no one's going to take any notice of you. But if you go and sit down in front of cars, or if you vandalize works of art, or if you try to get in other people's way and mess their lives up, you're going to come up, just a oil have had to more or less disappear mm. because the public are so anti them. You know, you wouldn't believe it. So what on earth are you going to do? My last question to you, and then we're finishing. What are you going to do to actually make your demands adhered to? We're taking the fight of those complicit in genocide. And how we're... are you going to do that? I'm not on the, I'm not on the planning. I'm not here to incriminate, incriminate myself. Here but... we are. Listen, this is, this is what the public think at the moment. Tell him to boycott all Israeli pharmaceutical products plus his mobile phone, O oh, and MRI and CT scans mm. as well. Israeli technology. Judith says that. I bet you'd use it. I'm, I'm completely in, in support of the boycott campaign. If that's what but you've got a asking. mobile phone, so you're not really standing up to it. You've got a mobile phone, which is Israeli technology. You know. Um, so you should get rid of your mobile phone. Is that so-called anarchist a member mm. of the Nor family? 
that make the stock cubes. I don't think you are, are you? No, I no. wish I was, but um, they're really tasty. Okay. Fair One right, more so. chance, and then I'm going to a break. Mattersons. What are you going to do? You, you, you keep telling we're me... Go, we're going to engage in non-violent civil disobedience yep. until, until the government meets our, meets our demand, and we're going to do whatever it takes. We're going to do whatever it takes well, to stop genocide... even ruffling snooker balls. ...around the world. You're whatever, doing snooker what, matches. Whatever non-violently necessary, whatever it takes. Those civil resistance images you've seen from other campaigns, like Palestine Action, like Just Up Oil, it's going to be happening again because people are sick of this, because politics is failing us, and as young people, we've been let down. The Labour Party and the Conservatives are driving a genocide. They're not, though, are they? It's a shame for a, a, a presumably a fairly intelligent Silly student. Billy. You are so out of touch with the world, but you know, nothing I can do about that. Thanks, Daniel. You can see him on the embankment next week. I'll be there, man. Yeah, me too. Great. Looking Sitting forward to seeing road. you both. Mike Graham, weeknights at 8 on Talk TV. Hey, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. And you're on your smart speaking. Now, you ain't going to ab and eve it, me old Chinas, but a new report is calling for a new definition of cockney. All right, Jeremy, me old China. Rosie. All right, oi, oi, treat girl. When J.K. Rowling says, let's just be honest, it's all she's saying, let's just be honest, when a man goes out and kills, we should talk about them as what they are, a biological man. Trans woman, it's not a woman, trans woman is a man. Lee would have to go for much further than his statement. I mean, he did say that he spoke clumsily and he understood the Prime Minister's position, but I think he'd need to say that he'd got it wrong. And I had a phone call this morning um, from Kim City Council, a lovely woman called Anna. And yeah, I've just received an email just saying um, that, yeah, I'm going to be getting a badge. Quite um, right too. Yay. Quite Yay. right too. It's that time again to get the violins out. That's right. Prince Harry has lost his bid for UK security after moaning he'd been singled out. They might as well be discussing an invasion of Daleks for all I really get this. <laughs> but, but, but I am now on social media having been dragged off my eight-pound Nokia, reluctantly kicking and screaming. <laughs> I'm a huge hit on Instagram, as you probably know. What are you doing? I'm just about to do it. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> it's carry on what just happened. <laughs> Whoa, <miss him. laughs> There was a suggestion by some that maybe it would be nice to put a statue of the Queen on the fourth blimp. Mr Khan apparently wasn't too keen on that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I, know it's, I know it's coming and I can't stop laughing. <laughs> so he suggested alternatives. There's a sweet potato. Uh, that's quite a small statue, then. Wasn't there also a prostitute? <laughs> oh, a trans... Sex worker. You don't really need one of those in Trafalgar Square. You've just got to walk up to Soho. So anyway, <laughs> yeah. Why do you know this? Because yeah. I know everything. Uh, was he just unlucky getting that question with an ice cream, or is it a sign of something more? Seemed like he was on a uh, late night show to attract a young demographic, and uh, it put him in an ice cream store. I read the statement this morning from the family. And if any police officer reads that statement, if you don't cry for what you read from what the family is saying, it's heartbreaking, then you shouldn't be a police officer. The UK, I'd say, has lots of racism within it. I don't necessarily think it's a racist country, but it permeates our institutions. Yeah, but for her to say, come out and vote, and by the way, t when I was 22 years old and I had an affair with a married man that I knew was married, the feminist failed me. I'm sorry. I think like, the feminist did fail her. We're supposed to, her. We're supposed to was have another moved on from era. that. She was 22. Mm. We're supposed to have moved on from that. Don't hark back on no. something you did that was wrong. Talk TV. It's the only place where you get the truth. How are you going to stop the votes? This is an international problem. How's that going for your party? I'm a millennial. You're a Victorian, I think. <laughs> well, this helps weather people. I'm going to help the vet's office. <laughs> Three, two, one. Uh, go, Brown. Uh,
I'm Jeremy Kyle. And I'm Nicola Thorpe. Welcome to Talk Today. Uh, righty ho, welcome back. The James Whale Show Unleashed starring live Ash. Starring Ash. on Saturday nights between 7 and 10. Hope you can join us. Not for the faint heart. A big shout you. out to Tom Tugendhat who's watching. He's easily upset. Yes, Tom, very good evening to you. Future Prime Minister. Possibly a future Prime Minister, yeah. Um, but not if we get behind him, that'll put everybody yeah, off. We'll so we're going after we better be careful. Prime Minister. Um, yeah, so if you want to talk about something, then the number's on the screen on Talk TV. You can call us, and on Talk Radio, it's 8. Uh, I'll do it again. And uh, it's 03444991. Do it in that order. Yeah. OK. Uh, right, let's go to the calls. Uh, Charlie in London. Hello, Charlie. Hello, James. And hello, Ash. Hello, Charlie. Charlie, what can we do All for right. you? Bonsoir. Could I ask you a question, James? And I hope that you might be able to give the answer because no one else has got the answer. Well, why would you think he You know that... Ignore um, him, I please. He knows because he seems to be knowledgeable yeah. about quite a lot. Well, he seems Thank to be you, Charlie. Charlie. It's a clever illusion. Yeah. Thank you, Charlie. <laughs> the question is... Well, the question is, you know that recent scandal with Diane Abbott and the Tory donor? Yeah. I don't, still can't work out or know what he made him say, uh, say what he said. I mean, all I can think is that she turned him down on a date. No, I don't think so, and I, I don't even see why it's it's worth talking about. I mean, you know, mm. people... I mean, you should hear what Ash and I say about yeah, people yeah. in the public eye privately. It was a stupid yeah. thing to say. And, and he, should, he shouldn't have said it when he, he was He was punished by giving people. £10 million, yeah. pound, by, by them wanting to give him £10 million pounds back. Yeah. So, um, I, you know, not one... The reason why the Speaker didn't call Diane Abbott in PMQs a couple of weeks ago, I think, is because there are quite a few people in a similar situation. And I think the reason that this guy, William Bragg, isn't it, who... Uh, well, that's the... the yeah. That you have this guy, William Bragg, who... Willie, um, Willie Rag, Rag, Yeah, he's it? not standing... Whatever it is. Willie Rag. Um, who's not standing on the next election anyway. Yeah. Gave ridiculous pictures of his bits to somebody well, he, was he blackmailed. didn't know. No, he sent his... Yeah. And then... He gave in and gave the numbers of other politicians out. He must have been embarrassed about his bits. To be quite honest with you, I think we need to... And, Tommy, if you're listening, maybe yeah. you can help. We need to be far more critical of the people who are going to be MPs, don't you think? Well, of course. They, well, they don't I even do. care. They get away I with do. it all. They get away I'll with it. I'll tell you what I'd make them do. I'd make them say the problems they're speaking up about. Maybe they could mm. go and live that life, say just for a week, mm. so they could know what it's like, you know, like Maybe. waiting on a trolley in the yeah. hospital, waiting for surgery. Well, for I think a lot of MPs may yeah. well have found themselves in that situation yeah. because you happen to be an MP. Yeah. Uh, doesn't actually... Give you, unless you've got private medical care. The thing is, they're not conviction it. politicians, they're just in it, most of them, to feather their own nests. And mm. even if they are in the first yeah. place, they soon get jaded. Charlie, thanks for that. Let's talk to Ryan in Birmingham. Ryan, good evening. Hello. Ryan. Hello, James. Hello, Ash. Ryan, right, what can we do for you? How, how are we doing? Um, so I just want to talk about um, Hamas, really. I'm just quite concerned that, like, there seems to be a lot. Like, I think there is child soldiers actually fighting. Well, there definitely is. They don't bother with no age. Yeah. Seems to be concerned whatsoever, is it? Yeah, no one mentions that when hang they on, say kids on, are being on. killed. Just a minute, just they a use minute. them as terrorists. What? What is the point you are trying to make through yeah. that? It's a good point. We don't. It's not a good point. Yeah, they use yeah. children no, as we don't, yeah. No, we do know that. It, no, we don't. Definitely, I, I know, know that. that. Definitely. No, you don't. I do. It's, it's I'm documented. Sorry. They've used ten-year-old suicide bombers. Yeah, they have. Well, the documentation of anything online, unless I've seen it myself physically. Could you think I'm Hamas go always under 18? We better not use them. No, I don't think so. For of course they use them. But what is the point of saying this? I think they do use them. They do. Ryan. I'm just saying that no, there isn't any concern. I haven't saw any concern in the no. media, like, one bit. The concern and of what? It's all one-sided. You would if, if that would... Say if, if Ryan, that the, concern, the concern The concern on in Ukraine. You're talking about Ukraine now. No, I'm saying if that happened in Ukraine, that would be like a massive story. 
but in this situation, it seems to be that... Why would it be a man... I'm sure that maybe if, if uh, child, kids have to child. fight, and depends what age you call kids, but I, I imagine some of the, the kids in Ukraine are probably trying... No, they out. sent them all out under 18 in Ukraine, were sent out of the country uh, with the women. All of them? Yeah, they, that's what they... It. That's the law, that was the law. Um, it's horrible. They, they not force them. They make them think it's good to do that. They go to heaven, so the martyr. What, they what, what do you yeah. think should be done then? Uh, OK, if well, you want to uh, say that's... Uh, a fact, and there are lots of kids who are fighting in these wars. Uh, what should be done? Um, you want, you want? I'm not sure. I don't know. What, I don't even know what could be done. I think there just should be more attention put on it. Yeah. Exactly. More attention yeah. to not killing them. Well, there's no attention, is there? That's the thing Ryan's point Ryan's making. No, he's not. Yeah. It's, what, it's not you, been mentioned on one he, media outlet. He's but from here now. He's saying that because that he's saying children are involved. They use child um, soldiers. Yeah. We shouldn't be backing Israel. Or He's just saying should. talk about it. He's just saying someone should talk about it in the press. As usual, they don't, they don't even mention the hostages. No, you you're you're missing the whole point. I yeah. mean, we do talk about the hostages and the fact they haven't released bit. any except one guy who had been executed is appalling. But no one talks about the child soldier. Even when they say children have been killed, some of them are terrorists. Yeah. But anyway, we, thanks, Ryan. Point, Anthony Ryan. in Liverpool. Anthony. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Uh, hello. Can you hear me? No. No. <laughs> I've just been watching your uh, interview. Anthony, we've guy. got a really bad line. Is there some sort of noise going on where you are? No, not anymore. What's happened to the noise? <laughs> well, there what it is. What the hell? Call you, can, you hear, can you hear me now? Are you in a prison in one of those steam laundries doing on the iron board, which is the prize We're job We're not allowed prison? to take calls. Yeah, we can't we take calls from the prison. Pandering, pandering that, you're the period of disgrace. You, you pander to it. We're not pandas. Yeah, we're pandering to we're you. Not, we're not pandas. Are we that much of a disgrace we're pandering to I've had my eyes you. done at makeup. Uh, Vince is in Derbyshire. Vince, good evening. Good evening, James. Vince, what can we do for you? Why are you so bitter and twisted? Is it because of the condition you have? Oh, Vinny. Yeah, it might well be. Uh, well, you would be, well wouldn't be. you, Vinny? <laughs> wouldn't you? Oh, he's gone. He bottled oh, I it. See. He bottled it. Well, as I've been in this... It's kind a good of, reason to be like a, that, Yeah, yeah but actually. it's got nothing to do with it. In fact, if anything, yeah, he's I'm like that anyway. better for it. He's been like that, always thought. been like that. 50 years. That's his whole selling yeah. point. It's, he's a shock Fif jockey. 50, not a shock jockey, I just he's tell him He's very bitter like boy, that's his 50 nature. 50 years ago, I think, the first time I took a phone call on air uh, was from a, a right-wing yeah. member of the National Front. Not many people had phones that, back then. That I yeah, that's where we met. absolutely yeah. tore apart on air when I was 21. And I changed my mind. And I very nearly got sacked, except that it made the front page of the uh, newspaper in Newcastle where I was working. The YA and, man. And uh, I got a bigger audience than The Breakfast Show, I think. But I'm not yeah, going out of my way to be bitter and twisted. He just is that anyway, it's just naturally. There are a lot of stupid people out there. Yeah. Doesn't have to try to and do that. And you were one of them. Uh, Tony is in uh, Lancashire. Tony. Good evening, James and Ash. By the way, James, that's a smart suit what you were in. Thank you, um, Tony. Yeah, it's yeah, only a jacket and a waistcoat. I've got shorts and yeah, a nice, yes, nice bit of schmatter. Well, nice bit of schmatter. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, just a couple of things. What well, nobody's talking about the, these legals coming in. How do we not not know that they could be bringing malaria and stuff like that? We don't. That, well, uh, we don't. We don't. We don't check them. They throw away all their documentation. We don't know their medical history. We don't know yeah. their political Murderers, history. Murderers, rapists, they all get in. No one gets stopped. It's, Whatever you've done, you, you get in. Is it about time the RNOI stop picking them up? Mm. Like you just said earlier on about the border force, stop, stop letting them in, into this country, breaking yeah. the law. They've decided they don't want to be the force And, you know, anymore. the interesting thing is a lot of the diseases that we had conquered yeah. and got rid of are coming Hooping, back. Whooping coughs back, TB. You know, yeah. in, in yeah. certain areas of immigration, yeah. these are coming back. Well, you get in whatever disease but you've got, you get in. None of them tested or anything like no. that. And, like... And not only that, I, no. feel, I feel like kind of a bit worried in my yeah. own country. Like, I feel a phone in my because, own country. Well, but I shouldn't have to well, you are like in certain that areas. Tony, anything you, like that or you, else. Tony, I agree with you. Thank you, Tony, for your call. I totally agree. And I think a lot of people yeah. are getting very worried that we are losing control of our country. 
and we're losing control of our culture. We're allowing people from other cultures to come here and to in... in and do what they want on I the mean, streets. I mean, I was going to use the term infect us with their cultures, but that's probably rude, isn't it? Well, I mean, you know, it's watering down the, the, our cultures. You remember when John Cleese said, oh, London's not British anymore, and everyone went mad, and now, you know, it, well, everyone knew... It was just I PC mean, no, no capital thing, city... Uh, is yeah. it, most capital cities have got people from all over the world living in them. That's great. But we Beijing. are a country that have been invaded by thousands and thousands of people who don't bring any identification, who could have all kinds of... Um, uh, diseases, all kinds of reasons which aren't so good to come here. And I think that's what we have to say to the, the yeah. politicians. Forget the NHS, forget education, forget, forget everything, because if we cannot defend ourselves, we then will cease to become a We've nation. got to get out of the ECHR, and we're allowed to block, even with the ECHR, for national mm. security grounds, which we, is a problem, we can stop anyone coming Dawn, in. Dawn, talk to us. Oh, hi, James. Hi, Dawn. Um, Pembrokeshire. Uh, hello, Ash. Morning, evening. Um, I, oh, do you know what? I'm so sad. You've made me... Uh, I love your show. Oh, I've good. Well, really that's right. Don't let why, it make you sad. sad. Yeah, mm. don't make you sad. No, I, I, I am a little bit upset, because I, I do watch you, and I get, I get, I get the programme, and, oh, if you've got feelings, don't watch, and stuff like that. Yeah. And I'm not easily triggered and stuff like that. And the first thing I wanted to say, and why I rang up ages ago, was mm. I... I remember asking you once, do you have any say in, like, who you're going to be interviewing? Totally. And, and, and you said, no, I don't know who I'm going to be interviewing and who's coming on. But when those I was two lying. guys... Oh, really? Yeah. But those two guys, you know, who were illusion. arguing back and forth. And yeah. I just... Well, I thought genuinely that you do have a say in who the guests are. And I thought you were done a disservice because I, I genuinely <laughs> thought that you... I really thought wanted a proper I did. debate, but, a you know, sensible, intelligent debate, I wanted and, and people those guys from both we don't, sides. We don't like those. No. I wanted people from both sides of the argument to come in and tell me what the solution was. Part of me knew that wouldn't happen. And um, as far as I'm concerned, I gave them a chance. They didn't accept it. They didn't take it. They just yelled at each other. And then they yelled at me, and, uh, you know, that was it. But I... I I have to confess, I have the last word on who comes on the show. Except for bloody Lizzie Cundy every And then Lizzie it comes finally to me week. and I get the final veto. But, yeah, uh, so, so you can't stop no Lizzie No one can stop Lizzie. No. No. no one wanted her on, she yeah. just comes in. Yeah, and we, we don't invite too, her on or play her, she just wanders in. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Dawn, don't worry about me, thank you very much indeed. Jill is in Wales. Jill, hello. You can't just say Wales. Oh. You can. Hi, nice to speak to you. Um, can I talk about a different subject? That's oh, South, South be Wales. That's South that would be very yeah. good. For Talbot. Right. I reached the grand old age of 80 on the 29th of uh, February. Got a very young voice. Yeah. Yeah. Happy <laughs> thank birthday. You. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and um, the government increased my pension by yeah. 25p. Wow. What now, are you going to do with it? It started in 1971. 25p. Yes. Well, that's 12 quid extra a year. You could uh, Is that a d Hang on, is that a day? Five? Congratulations! Yeah. Could you? Yeah. How? Because they've, they've increased my pension. By 25p a week? Yeah. No, se 70 quid a month, I think. Well, that's, that's like 17 oh, well, quid. You're lucky. But if you're 80 years old, you get an extra 25p a week. Wow. So I just wanted to have a week. Well, how, I, that's not right, no. That but that was a lot of money when you were 16, wasn't it? Is that it? right? 25 p yeah, was a lot well, when you were 15. 1971. Yeah. Yeah, well, it was... You could get a lot that, for that. Apparently, yeah. listen, just a minute, quiet, all of you, just a minute. I'm just checking with a, a financial whiz kid. Um, so uh, Jill is 80 years old, and she's just got a rise in her pension of 25p a week. That yes. cannot be right. Yeah, it is. Well, it is. It's too much. How much is your pension payout over a month? Oh, oh do you know? I, I, I don't know. I just ask the question. Are you caught in the woman trap where the pension age was just... No. No, you're no, not, I... are you? you? You're before that, yeah. Sorry, is that my wife in the background? She's a tax think... expert. So yeah. There won't be much tax on the 25. No, no, there won't be any tax on the 25 Don't pence. worry, Jill, you won't get taxed on your 25 pence. You get the full oh, well, 25 pence. Yeah, 
She's That's she's nice. complaining. Jill is complaining. I wish you bloody She's complaining about her. her crap pension, basically. Yeah. Uh, she's asked me. Why's she only stupid. got a twenty-five p a rise? Yeah, I just asked if she. Why's she only that got a twenty-five p a rise? Why has she only got twenty-five pence increase in her pension she when she's more. eighty? She wants more. Yeah. Well, no, whatever government okay. was in power in nineteen seventy, how much? How, yeah, how, how much were you getting from your pension a month? Twenty-five p less. So she um. I honestly don't know because I got caught in the. Bit how of a can trap. you not know how much you get from your pension? Yeah, that's a good. You're point. paid every month. No, I get paid weekly. Well, how much a week do you get? How much a week do you get? Um, probably about 147, 150. For doing nothing. Shush! I don't think that's enough. No, you've earned that. You've but earned that for you. you're 80. Well, no, when I, I'm a, a retired nurse, I gave 50 years. 50, 60 years to the NHS. That's terrible, isn't it? But when I was working part-time... Are you talking about your private pension? No, my state pension... Oh, she's loaded with a private pension. ...gone up by 25p. How much did you well, get from most, your private hang, pension? Just a minute. Most people's pensions have gone up by about 70 quid a month. State pensions. Yes. So why have you only got 25p? This is a little bonus that the government in power in 1971 decided that anyone who reached the grand old age of 80 should have yeah. an extra 25 pence yeah. a and week. And they've not put it up every year, have they? They've just left it the so same. So yeah. it's a pound a it's month. It's a con. Yeah. Well, I've no idea why. You, are, are you it's a saying, stealth tax, basically. Are you saying you didn't get the rest of a, an increase She's in your She's saying pension. they haven't changed it since 1971. It's still 25p. It's still 25p. Yeah. That's what she's hang saying. Hang on, hang on. Lady W... Basic state pension goes up from 120 pence to 45 pence extra when you reach 80. Yes, you do get an yeah. extra 20. Yeah, pence. okay. Which is ridiculous. In 1971, so you get an 25 extra 45p. 45p when you're 80 a day. 45p a week. A week. Mm -hmm. 45p a week. Which in 1971 well, no, was I, something, I, and I now it's nothing. Letter, anyway, letter from uh, the pension. Jill. I, I've, I'm, I'm being very kind. I would normally not bother with this sort of call. I think everybody's turned off. I think you might yeah. be right. Uh, Jill, thank you very much indeed. Go and check it out with uh, the Citizens Advice Bureau. I bet our nurse pensions they amazing. Will, they will help that. Uh, we'll take a break back with the final... Never mind the ballot. A brand new look at all things politics from The Sun with me, Harry Cole. Watch my big end of the week with no stone unturned. Every Thursday evening, exclusively with The Sun. Hey, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. I mean, there's quite a lot of game playing going on here. Oh, don't start me on that. <laughs> there's a sort of feeling they ought to look as if they're doing something. So don't accuse anyone else of stoking culture wars. Such as the smoke and mirrors of, of politics. Ruminating and fulminating and debating and voting and God knows what. Said they couldn't back the party's position. But the government has got to be more flexible. It's starting to sound like a very expensive show, this, but anyway. <laughs> this is Talk TV. Hey, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. And you're on your smart speaker. Now, you ain't going to happen and eve it, me old Chinas, but a new report is calling for a new definition of cockney. All right, Jeremy, me old China. All Rosie. right, Oi, oi, treat girl. When J.K. Rowling says, let's just be honest, it's all she's saying, let's just be honest, when a man goes out and kills, we should talk about them as what they are, a biological man. Trans woman, it's not a woman, a trans woman is a man. Lee would have to go for much further than his statement. I mean, he did say that he spoke clumsily and he understood the Prime Minister's position, but I think he'd need to say that he'd got it wrong. And I had a phone call this morning um, from Kim City Council, a lovely woman called Anna. And yeah, I've just received an email just saying um, that, yeah, I'm going to be getting a badge. Quite um, right too. Yay. Quite Yay. right too. It's that time again to get the violins out. That's right. Prince Harry has lost his bid for UK security after moaning he'd been singled out. They might as well be discussing an invasion of Daleks for all I really get this. <laughs> but, but, but I am now on social media having been dragged off my eight-pound Nokia, reluctantly kicking and screaming. <laughs> I'm a huge hit on Instagram, as you probably know. What are you doing? I'm just about to do it. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> it's carry on what just <laughs> happened. <laughs> Whoa, <Whirl, listen. laughs> There was a suggestion by some 
that maybe it was nice to put a statue of the Queen on the fourth plinth. Mr Khan apparently wasn't too keen on that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know, uh, it's, I know it's coming and I can't stop laughing. <laughs> so he suggested alternatives. There's a sweet potato. Uh, that's quite a small statue, then. Wasn't there also a prostitute? <laughs> oh, a trans... Sex worker. You don't really need one of those in Trafalgar Square. You've just got to walk up to Soho. So anyway, <laughs> yeah. Why do you know this? Because yeah. I know everything. Uh, was he just unlucky getting that question with an ice cream, or is it a sign of something more? Seemed like he was on a uh, late night show to attract a young demographic, and uh, it put him in an ice cream store. I read the statement this morning from the family. And if any police officer reads that statement, if you don't cry for what you read from what the family is saying, it's heartbreaking, then you shouldn't be a police officer. The UK, I'd say, has lots of racism within it. I don't necessarily think it's a racist country, but it permeates our institutions. Yeah, but for her to say, come out and vote, and by the way, when I was 22 years old and I had an affair with a married man that I knew was married, the feminist failed me. I'm sorry. I think like, the feminist what, what did fail her. We're supposed to have moved on from that. Era. She was 22. Mm. We're supposed to have moved on from that. Don't hark back on no. something you did that was wrong. Talk TV. It's the only place where you get the truth. Good morning, it's just gone six o'clock. I'm Jeremy Kyle. And I'm Nicola Thorpe. Welcome to Talk Today. That was the woke that was 10 o'clock on Saturday night. We've got Lois Perry and Pete Barnes and the deputy leader of Reform UK's, our star guest, Ben Habib, and this useless bloody rabbit. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Good evening. Welcome to our final hour live TV and radio together. Not for the faint-hearted. Unfortunately, I have not got rid of this at the moment, and I haven't got rid of that red spot above my head either. But I am struggling on. If you're easily offended, bugger off. Uh, because I don't want to trigger anybody. I don't go with the woke stuff. I probably uh, am going to be locked up for some of the things I've said if I venture into Scotland yep. again. So uh, Scottish Inquisition. Yes. Uh, yeah, Ash. Oh, he is useless right, every it's single 29 day. Years. You know. Put your mic on, come he on. He is beginning I, I to like annoy to me intensely. My, my voice. Uh, Hugh in Wales, you're nuts, by the way, Hugh. I'd go and seek some medical help if I were you. Um, okay, and, you can turn uh, it on now. And, uh, yeah, Hugh, I, I'll read them, but I laugh at you, Hugh. I think what an inadequate human being you really are. Now, listen. Let's uh, talk about something else. Uh, 800, yep, 800 last week. Uh, illegal uh, migrant, well, criminals, thugs. You don't know what they are. Uh, crossed the channel over Easter weekend, bringing the total to 5,000 so far this year. These are people broken into our country. And this summer we'll get that every day, at least. These are people who actually deserve to be forced back to where they came. It's the French's problem, the French should sort it out. Uh, now, our next guest, Joseph uh, Cotty Monson, is that how Cotry I pronounce it? Monson. Cotry Monson. It's an interesting name, Joseph. Um, I bet it's got a lot of history with it as well. Um, what do you think about this? Well, uh, I, I guess appear first and foremost... Because you're a lawyer, aren't you? Exactly. I mm -hmm. guess I, I appear here tonight, not as an immigration lawyer or as some kind of activist or advocate for the position, yeah. but as somebody... So why do you appear here? Well, I believe in the rule of law. And, uh, in well, the we first all instance, believe in the rule of law, but sometimes law has to be changed. Well, I'm glad you should say that, because the, if we're going to have a debate about that kind of thing, it should start, first of all, with our treaty obligations and whether we should follow them in the first instance. No, we should leave that. OK. Well, do you want me to tell you your answer? My answer? All right. Well, so the Refugee Convention suggests, and in fact mandates, and anyone who's signed it, that if somebody is a genuine asylum seeker, somebody who's a judged by a due process, not just because we don't like the way that they've come in, but just by a due process... Are you to, completely stupid? Uh, you haven't heard what I'm no, going to say. No, because yet, so. what you're going to say is very annoying to me. I want, you know, 
I am very angry inside. I'm not allowing it to come out. These people who come in rubber boats or the backs of lorries are criminals. There's a legal way to come into this country. These people are breaking it breaking into our nation and the majority of people in this country are fed up with it you want an answer to that or shall i continue as i was going i'd actually answer it or you can continue out okay all right well we're gonna just answer it okay well what i was you don't going have to say to. i'm not forcing you to well, stay here well in fact you invited me to be here as you know i've traveled 200 you, you miles don't, for the thing. i don't and, know how long and, you've and, traveled ah, but you know what i you, don't you, actually care how long you've traveled well, you were asked to come on the program because i want to talk about this situation with somebody who has a different point of view but i didn't think somebody would come on and as radically say you know these people have a right to come here until we what find I'm, out who they are. But actually, James, what I'm saying is not radical. What I'm saying well, is, is, is. is that when when we as a nation have signed a, a, an international treaty... You mean the ECHR, look, no, following well, the, the courts? Well, the, the ECHR has, uh, 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 has something to say. About but we're bound by it, and other European nations yeah. aren't, because they can but use actually, EU law yeah. and not be bound. But we are bound no, by it. No, absolutely. And, well, that's and ridiculous, and, isn't it? And actually, our obligations go back ash further than that, because... Yeah, but it wasn't in the old days, like church, it was envisioned for people, we, subjugated Ash, people, not people who just Ash, want to leave their country because there's a war. Ash, in Do you know what I mean? Ash, I would like to hear down. Joseph's yeah, response. Okay. Or you can so, both go. Uh, all right. right. Uh, easy on Ash, though. We're, we're all yeah. friends. Yeah. We're so, not all friends at all because people like you annoy me intensely. That you okay. want to make a. I, mean, I, you don't, want to I make, don't have to stay. You, no, well, any time you want to go, the door's over there. Well, and uh, I wouldn't keep you against uh, your will. At the moment, I'm regarding but, my invitation but, as oh, excellent. For goodness sake. But it has changed, hasn't it, from yeah. Churchill's times when we well, let subjugate It's people. an interesting question, actually, Ash. Excuse me. I'm sorry to butt in. But it's a really dull, boring question. I don't want to know about the law, the history and everything else. I want the people who are coming here illegally sent out. I want them stopped. I don't want them sent to Rwanda. That's a ridiculous waste of our money too. I want the Navy in the channel okay. and people trying to come here in boats and, you know, not come the legal Their lives route. are in danger as well in France. I want obviously. them sent back to France. All right, all right. So, let, let's, so, let's, so why so, are you against that? So we've started, and let's hope that I get to the end of my answer this time, James, with respect. But we've talked we'll about see. people who come illegally. Yes. Well, actually, the process by which it's decided if they've come illegally, the process that by which it's decided, James, if they are criminals, is one that's considered by a court and our due process. We need to change the law then, don't we? Because it's got ridiculous that so anyone can just come. How and can they you get decide in. when people get rid well, of? Well, if their... somebody's a refugee in the first instance, somebody who's who's, for example, fled persecution. Somebody well, from France. Who's... Well, no, Is because France these such countries... a bad They're place to you, France. Joseph. Well, I tell you what, France takes more than we do. In fact, why don't they take a bit more then? Well, in fact, what happens when we say, okay, well, we're taking loads more of these people than others? Actually, we take half as many Not as that. the rest of the European Not saying countries. that. We are a land small landmass, land yeah. and we have not got enough teachers, doctors, nurses. We've got to the same look population after making France, it, but half the yeah, land. Making, it, making a land. valid point there, I would say, James. And when we're yeah. talking about the competition for resources of hospitals, schools, I'm very sympathetic to that. But to blame that on immigrants, no, it's blame the law. that on we need migrants. To change the law. These are not let me finish, immigrants. Let me finish, the, no, let me no, you because you go on. This doesn't These work if people... you don't let me speak, James. Goodbye. Wait, is no, that it? No, if if wait, that's no. what you think, yeah, it doesn't because work it's unless you get if me, you let me don't, give an answer. No, I'm not going to let you go I'm around really the trying houses. to engage with these Why questions. Why don't you answer the question because, that I've asked Because you. sometimes People one needs the attention illegally. span to get to the end it's of a paragraph to, to understand in. what the answer is. It's too easy but to get in. All right, thank you very much. I don't need to talk to somebody as condescending and as rude as you are. Thank you very much. I ask a question. I really can't get to the point. another 200 miles now. Well, I, uh, look, I want to know why a lawyer would actually think that he can, he, can, he can just avoid the question. He could probably get the same train he came here on, if it's still there. Oh, shut up, Ash. Really? I mean, I just, I just think... Poor guy. ..that, yeah, it, it, it really is. He, you cannot, when I ask the question, there has to be an answer. These yeah. people come into well, this country illegally. Well, no, he's right. It's legal, but it's because we've got ridiculous laws now that we can let anyone in. How who gets can it. it be legal for it's somebody just, to pay? You just have criminal. to say you're an asylum seeker, and that's it. You're legally can come in. And that is the stupid way of the law. That's just I everyone just, gets in. I just think it's ridiculously stupid. Ian it's in stupid. Cambridge. It's Ian. Very stupid.
Hello, guys. How are you this evening? Well, fuming. I was OK, fuming. but now I'm fuming. He's even more fuming. He's got to go for another I think that other guy's fuming as well. He wasn't too happy, was he? No. He looked like the guy in Take That, didn't he? The little guy from Take That. <laughs> Listen, guys, look, I know with regard to immigration, the people coming across on boats. However, I've got to say this. Most oh, he was here to watch now, Palace Man City anyway. Oh, right. It's made up of Europeans. You're yeah. a Palace fan. And if we were... If you guys were in the same position as people in Palestine, Syria, places like that, would you not want to come to somewhere for a better life? Yeah, of course, but we can't take everyone, can no. we, in a war-torn country? No, Surely, if you were... Hang on. You if you... Just listen. You can't blame the people doing it. Sorry. No, absolutely. Who are we That's talking to? Ian in Cambridge. Ian in Cambridge, yeah. yeah. Ian, the, the fact and is... That you should be staying in your country, if you're a man, we're the idiots. to actually support Listen, your your country and your families rather than my, getting my out of it. Irish immigrants, okay? Your grandparents may have been from, I don't know, from France, from the Netherlands, from it, Germany, from the Vikings. That's your microphone. And we came here. Yeah. What is the point you're trying to make? I'm saying if I was. In, in Sudan or somewhere like that, and I could see a better life for myself in not just England, but any European country, mm. I'd try and get there. Yeah, that's why we need I'd to change the laws, so it's not... I mean, you can't blame them, you're we right, it's our fault. Hang on, you I can blame them. Why? Well, you're saying the truth, yeah, we'd what, be the what same. What we need to do is defend our borders. Yeah, we need to change the law and stop it being so easy yeah. to get Would you have done it... Would you have done it in the 1940s? With no, the, with I, I the think Jewish, now we should Jewish, let all subjugated Jewish gated people in. People no, uh, we let in people from Afghanistan, from Hong Kong, subjugated, genuine you Ukraine. Do. They should all get in. It's people who just want they're at war in their land. They, they, you can't just take millions of people just because the country's at war. Oh, where's your heart? Well, it, it uh, be reasonable. Right in my chest, yeah. thinking about those people who fought for this country, yeah, those people who liberal. worked for this country yeah. and don't have a home, can't get enough food... You know, yeah. that's we're not where building my a city is. the size of Birmingham every eighteen months, Ian. That's what we need to do. So can't you see yeah. the irrational in your Thanks, argument? Thanks, Ian. John's in South End. John, you're on the air. Good evening. In Stafford. Good evening, Mike. Good Get on evening. with it, John. His name is actually Mike. Yeah. John, what do you want? His real name's Michael. I don't think John wants anything. He's put his radio on to hear. Yeah, he's uh, he's, he's just a bit stupid. Uh, Brian in Hamel Hempstead. Brian, you're on the air. Good evening to you. Hello, mate. I just want to ask this one question, Mr. Whale, and to you, Ash. Uh -huh. When I was brought up by my parents, I was taught that you work hard, you play hard, you play... You were lied to. And, well, I weren't lied to. They bought their own home, they work hard... And they done everything they could. Then they passed it on to me, or my siblings, whatever way you want to call it. We are now in a situation where we ain't in control of what we have. Mm. I know. Well, the, yeah, I the agree. population aren't being. We, we make our demands, and the government are not doing what we want. No, we've never wanted this much immigration. That's that's a democratic. But they don't do what we say. They're not, we all want these If the stopped. government don't stop this, there is going to be a terrible trouble a couple of years down the I line. I agree, Mr. Well. And well, if they don't possible start... Possible civil, civil war. I hope not. But if they don't start doing something, if these well, lawyers start, you know, going, oh, well, they you know, want to come in and we need more people... But the politicians the... don't care. They're just looking at the next job, aren't they? Yeah. They're not really conviction politicians. That's the, ultimately the problem, isn't it, Brian? Can I just pull, point out a fact? Yeah. If you bring up children, you say, work hard, do your best, learn at school, do this, that and the other, get on with it. Oh, well, well, unfortunately, the world's not correct. The world's not... It's not nice a world to live in. Put a helmet on, away you go. But you can't work hard now and on. afford a house. Just I can't working afford hard. a house. Mm. Yeah, but older people can. Yeah, but uh, you make a... Listen, you make a... I'm sorry, it makes a good point. No, but when I was 20, you could if, afford a flat in London. You'd know where you could know. No. no, no, Ash, listen to me. Doesn't matter how if hard you work, you're not going to be able to afford a half a million Ash, pound flat. listen to me. My mum and dad worked bloody hard. Yeah. And went so, through the complete system of paying tax, this, that and the other, yeah. and I went out and done the exact same thing. Yeah. Surely, I'm entitled to... We've bumped it to carry it on. Yeah, but it won't, will it? A kid now can't afford stuff. 
Um, Brian, we just have to hope that somebody sees some sense at the end of the tunnel because, yeah. thank you, Brian, we cannot go on with our kids not being able to afford to get yeah. somewhere to live. Yeah. And people like Canary Wharf here in London, um, a huge amount of property yeah. bought up by foreigners, yeah. Yeah. mostly from Chinese, I think, and, yeah. and uh, never lived in. But yeah, it just the users' stocks and shares are yeah. just stored, and you know they're not even real flats. And you know, it, it, people can't afford to live, and they're thinking, mm. "Well, what's the point? Why would I fight for a country that I've not even?" Um, yeah, Paul. Got any future? <laughs> Paul in Cov. Yeah, Paul. What do you want? Yeah, yeah, all right, lads. Yeah, yeah. I'm laughing at about the, the lawyer there who's been um, pushed out the door. I quite like. She's thinking yeah. right as well. But I'll tell you what, because they're just playing the system against us and if, we, if people can't work it out we're at the limit look at us we can't they're all about going to mars but you know we can't even we can't even stop a couple of boats coming across the water well we, it has to be you know, said that rishi sunak has said now thank goodness after an enormous amount of time that he will consider yeah. uh, taking us out of the ECHR. ECHR. But he, he's not ever. If you notice, he used to say stop the boats. He's he's not saying that at all now. So he's hoping we haven't remembered that he said he was going to stop the boats. Saying is Rishi Sunak has got no authority over any of us. Who gave him the authority? No one voted for Rishi Sunak. Not one man or woman in this country voted for Rishi Sunak. <laughs> nor Liz Trust for that matter. So what are we listening to? Who's given them the authority? Who authorised them to be telling us what to do? This is our country. Yeah, well, we're the fools. Like, we, we've lost control. That's why we've got to reform the political system as well, because we've got this two-party state, and that's your choices, basically, probably, at the end yeah, of the day. How, how can you reform it when, when, when the media have got hold of everything? Well, in the media haven't. It's a two-party state, and they're both the same, really. Yeah, 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 of course they are. Same, as, 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 as your man said, same answer. Even if we had no media, you'd still actually <laughs> would be your choices. Yeah, Star yeah, or Sunak. Really. I mean, you have got other yeah. parties, obviously, but... Yeah, the one thing well, I would say, Paul, is when the election does come... Uh, yeah. sometime this year, everybody should go and vote. I don't care who you vote for, mm. but if only 30% of the population turn out and vote, then we're being run by a minority. Mm. In Tony Blair, it was a minority vote. of the population yeah. voted in 97, and everyone was excited, mm. apparently, back then. Paul, thank you for that. Uh, you two really are stupid. That's very Monsoon, good. the lawyer, has been a fantastic guest and well-liked by JHB and other people presenters if you let him answer the question he wouldn't answer the question uh you chimpanzees might learn i think it means you in that one unfortunately for daytime <laughs> viewer the audience have now lost a good commentator well pathetic Can you get him idiots. back is his train has he got on the train yet we don't want him back and if they want to use him during the day, fine. I'm sure you still didn't in, take that. 200 miles, He, 200 he, miles he didn't come 200 miles for this show. Did he you came, really go to the match? He came Palace. down to see the football match. He went yeah. to Palace, Man okay. City. Anyway, listen, if Four it's two, I think it my was. show, and I'm not going to be patronised, if the others want Six to two. be, it's up to them. Four two. I said four uh, two. Dennis, good evening. Yes, that lady, I was just... I want to tell, talk all day, but that lady was just talking about having a 25 pence rise a week. Yeah. Yeah. I think she got it wrong, actually. It was 20 pence. So she's done actually better. Yeah. She's done uh, better. You know, Dennis, I don't think anybody really cares, do they? Dennis well, does. Uh, 20 pence a week rise. Thanks, Dennis. Cindy in Michigan. Oh, no. It's ah. Michigan Cindy. Hello. How do you do, Dee? What I would... Hello. Thank Hi. you for taking my call. Have what a I'd nice like day. To say to, what I'd like to say to people in in the UK and in the United States to the virtue signalers who really believe this way. Yeah. Why don't they open their own homes and volunteer their homes? They don't actually believe it though, do they, Cindy? As you say, they're virtue signalers. They want to seem good, but they don't really believe what they're saying. Yeah, why, why don't like they Gary Lineker, he took one in, but you know, it was in a garage five acres away from the main house with servants. What about the people that may not who need housing, the veterans in, in your country? What about your they veterans? They sleep in the streets in the, in the rain and die from where's, pneumonia where's, and, and madness. Where is the heart for those people who fought? There isn't one. Well, there is in this country. Well, we do try and no, take... No, you won't get a hotel. You sleep no. in the streets. Where? In, in this country, if you're an ex-serviceman, you'll sleep in the streets. 
He wants to fine and imprison them now as well, so well, punish the, the service. That, and where are they going to get the money? I mean, some of them are... £2,000 fine. ..on a, you know, making a living out of it, and some of them do yeah. make a lot of Stamp money. Stamp on the ex-servicemen, oh. and if you just come into the country, have a four-star hotel. Yeah. Look at this. This is quite interesting. Um, Anton Kingswood. He said, uh, James and Ash, short and sweet, quick-fire question. How many people on the Bibby Stockholm... As that's not been mentioned for ages. I don't think there are They've all many. converted to Christianity. Also, do they all have to pay TV licence out of their free yeah. 50 quid a week that yeah. us taxpayers give them? The BBC must be raking in tens of thousands off the boat alone. Alan Inkinson. They've all come out as gay and Christian. John, good John evening. John Stafford, have you already been on? Yeah, no. good evening. Great. Good evening, guys. Um, James, how are you? We're all right. Fine, John. What do you want to say? Well, you get you had a couple of blokes on earlier on. We know we did. One with a, well, one with a black suit, or black attire on, and a black baseball cap. John, I'm yeah. getting bored. What is the point you want to make? He's saying what they well, were wearing. Shut up. I'm trying to bloody make it, but you, you're not listening. No, because you're yeah. talking around. He in said circles. he had a hat on. Don't you start? No. What is the point, John, you want to make about my guests? What else were they wearing? Oh, shut up, I well, sure. We will go. When you couldn't get an answer off him, him with the baseball cap, he wouldn't let your buddy get into him, would he? He wouldn't give you an answer. Certainly not. Ash, oh, shut up, Ash. Uh, so what is the point you've come on for? Just to tell me something I know? To tell you the guy oh, in the hat no, on. No, but it's like that old lady, she was 80, oh, 25 pounds a week on a pension. I've been having that for the last five years. No more pensions. Bye-bye, John. Bye-bye. I like that. Bye-bye, John. Call again in ten minutes. Yeah. Uh, Gemma. Hello. Gemma, last call. Go on. For now. Lovely to speak to you guys. It's so funny. I literally watch this every night. It's a We're not on every night, and this well, is a serious, hard-hitting show. Gemma, well, what, what's your time. point, anyway. Gemma, before they cut us off? Oh, they don't cut us off. I feel like it's like literally so refreshing to see honest opinions on Thank the you. TV. Well, why Very do you watch us then? Yes. <laughs> because you don't see it often. <laughs> it's like literally like <laughs> it's real. And Gemma, it's good really, it seems really that way. Gemma, I get, I get really embarrassed when people are nice to me. Gemma, but He's I am awarding award you. He's award winning. I am awarding you, Gemma, the caller of the show today. What does she win for that then? Nothing. Uh, Are you happy it's with that, Jim? What about and she 25 pence a week? Very proud. No. Uh, thank you very much indeed. We'll take a break. Today on Talk TV. Hey, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online, and we're on your smart speaking. Now, you ain't going to have an eve it, me old Chinas, but a new report is calling for a new definition of cockney. All right, Jeremy, me old China. Rosie. All right, oi, oi, treat girl. When JK Rowling says, let's just be honest, that's all she's saying, let's just be honest. When a man goes out and kills, we should talk about them as what they are, a biological man. Trans woman, it's not a woman, trans woman is a man. Lee would have to go for much further than his statement. I mean, he did say that he spoke clumsily and he understood the Prime Minister's position, but I think he'd need to say that he'd got it wrong. And I had a phone call this morning um, from Kim City Council, a lovely woman called Anna. And yeah, I've just received an email just saying um, that, yeah, I'm going to be getting a badge. Quite um, right too. Yay. Quite Yay. right too. It's that time again to get the violins out. That's right. Prince Harry has lost his bid for UK security after moaning he'd been singled out. I might as well be discussing an invasion of Daleks for all I really get this. <laughs> but, but, but I am now on social media having been dragged off my eight-pound Nokia, reluctantly kicking and screaming. <laughs> I'm a huge hit on Instagram, as you probably know. What are you doing? I'm just about to do it. Ooh! Ooh! It's carry on. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Whoa, <missing. laughs> There was a suggestion by some 
that maybe it would be nice to put a statue of the Queen on the mm. fourth plinth. Mr Khan apparently wasn't too keen on that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I, know what's, I know what's coming and I can't stop laughing. So he suggested alternatives. There's a sweet potato. Uh, that's quite a small statue, then. Wasn't there also a prostitute? <laughs> oh, a trans... Sex worker. You don't really need one of those in Trafalgar Square. You've just got to walk up to Soho. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why do you know this? Because yeah. I know everything. Uh, was he just unlucky getting that question with an ice cream, or is it a sign of something more? Seemed like he was on a uh, late night show to attract a young demographic, and uh, they put him in an ice cream store. I read the statement this morning from the family. And if any police officer reads that statement, if you don't cry for what you read from what the family is saying, it's heartbreaking, then you shouldn't be a police officer. The UK, I'd say, has lots of racism within it. I don't necessarily think it's a racist country, but it permeates our institutions. Yeah, but for her to say, come out and vote, and by the way, when I was 22 years old and I had an affair with a married man that I knew was married, the feminist failed me. I'm sorry. I think like, the feminist did the fail her. Yeah, we're we're supposed it was another era. That. She was 22. Mm. We're supposed to have moved on from that. Don't hark back on no. something you did that was wrong. Talk TV. It's the only place where you get the truth. How are you going to stop the votes? This is an international problem. How's that going for your party? I'm a millennial. You're a Victorian, I think. <laughs> All this helps weather people. I'm going to help the vet office. <laughs> I'm Jeremy Kyle. And I'm Nicola Thorpe. Welcome to Talk Today. Yes. Oh, we're, oh, we're on air. Oh. You needn't come back as... as uh, Action. As he I says... I knew we were on. You're fired. Yeah. You know, what, what the friggin' really hell do sorry. you do? You're so, you, never mind being really sorry. Here we are doing a show watched by Why the billions of people Didn't around the world. What the man said? What are you still doing and, there? And you don't count me in and tell me we're about to come out of a break. I heard him. Should I have a cry? Is that going to help? Where's the Ferrero Rocher or other brand? There's other brands of value. You normally no, get don't stuff. bring you're any, on there now. Don't bring any. I know we're I'm not. On we're not really on here. He's joking. Where's you the never know with him. You don't bring any in. I can't eat anything. Um, right. Okay. Zero three. Were we on air now? No. No. Back in. He doesn't oh, even bother on to tell you we if are. we're on on air. Three, two, one. Two. Uh, right. Welcome back to uh, James Well Unleashed tonight. Sorry. Um, filmmaker. Lash. Rich Felgate is producing a new film. It's about Just Stop Oil. Uh, for the first time, this is a total exclusive. Here's a trailer for the movie. This isn't where I saw myself a few months ago. It's growing in young people, this sense of overwhelming panic. Why have I got some doubt? Because it's so iconic. It's about opening up conversation and getting people's attention. So people should be doing this the right path, so just they should be doing it the right it's way. Not, and I think it's a shame. I'm doing my bits. Why do you stop me? Are you bringing people with you? Are you bringing people with you? Why aren't you telling people how bad it's going to get? This is by far the biggest thing I've done. It's not like I can say, oh, my husband's upset, I'm going to walk away from this now. I am morally compelled to do what I'm doing. Just stop oil protesters shut large parts of the M25 this morning. And it's vowed to continue the protest daily unless the government agrees to stop issuing gas and oil drilling licenses. She's really young and she's been through a lot. I really want to keep her out, Joe. Will the Prime Minister consider making Just Stop Oil a prescribed organisation yeah, yeah, yeah. so that they can be treated as the criminal organisation they actually are? Yeah. Are we doing the right thing? Are we doing enough of it? I really hope so.
that's an exclusive here on the show tonight. Nobody else has seen it. Uh, Rich, welcome. Thank you very much indeed for taking some time. Now, this is a, a documentary-style film about Just Stop Oil, and as far as I understand it, you infiltrated them. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a difficult thing to do or not, but or you got in with them. Infiltrated might be, might be a bit of a strong word, but it's a, it's a behind-the-scenes look showing the, the people in Just Stop Oil. Because we, we hear a lot about the, the so-called eco-mob, but I don't think we, the public sees who these people really are. And also the kind of state crackdown that they've faced, this erosion of our civil, civil liberties and, and the right to protest. Um, well, the, there's a right to protest, but not to get in front of me and say, you can't come down here. That's not a right. Most people do know who you are. Most of them, well, assume they're posh people and some of the women have purple hair. I and mean, the rest of students. Is, we do know what they are. So what, it, what well, is, you that your experience? is that your experience? Are you with, with them or are you are you independent just doing a documentary or are you believe in the, do you believe in the Just Stop Wheel? So you, you kind of proven my point that for the need for this type of film that shows who mm. these people really are because this stereotype that they're well, all... Well, no, there's a lot of 70-year-old women. So tell, tell me, tell, tell me... Do you, do you want me to... Would you be quiet or will you, you just listen? Or just, yes, please. Or interrupt. So, Do you want to go too? Because, you know, I'm quite happy just to take phone calls. There's a guy who needs company on the way back to Manchester. Yeah. Uh, it's 200 miles. So have you made this film, which is uh, not finished yet because you've run out of money, um, have you made this film, everything is fine, have you made it to promote Just Stop Oil or have you made it to uh, change people's mind about Just Stop Oil? What have you done? I want people to make up their own minds, but I want them to have all the information and before, what is the information they, you want them do to that. have so really i'm holding up a mirror to what actually happens behind the scenes of these protests that we, uh, we hear so much about in the news and so what why, happens why behind the would, scenes why would ordinarily law-abiding people grandmothers vicars why would they get arrested for well, not many cause. of them are getting arrested. It, they feel it gives them, them a use well, that, well, that's, in life that's the they point. feel it gives them some use in life at yeah. that age they get a bit put and they They've got money, they've paid their mortgage up, and they think, oh, oh, I'll do this for the kids. You know, it's sort of a virtue signalling type thing. Yeah. So that's another misconception which I, I will address in the film. So you said that well, tell not me. many of them get arrested. No, they over, do. Over do. about 150 of them have been in prison you know so far. Good. That's and excellent. I've, I've filmed I'm people happy being, being sent to prison for yeah. marching down the road, and I think regardless of your view Locking on just stop oil... Blocking or ambulances, the crisis, blocking cars. It's an issue of stopping freedom of people speech. people getting... You know, it's not... It's an issue. You're, you're you can say what you want, yeah? and you can come on here and say what you want, but so can I. And the fact that a lot of people, and I think probably the majority of people, don't agree with Just Stop Oil because people actually uh, get annoyed about them. The police didn't do anything about it because public opinion turned. The police had to do something about it. They had to arrest them. You can't just block a motorway and pretend I'm not doing anything violent, I'm not, I'm not committing a crime or anything. You know, it's just ridiculous. I don't think any of us... I thought you were making a movie just to explain what was in the minds of these people who do it. Exactly, but there's, there's bigger issues at play. What you are know, they? I, I don't think anyone wants to live in a society where you get put in prison for walking down a road with a sign. Or, well, like, blocking you know, I'm, people, you could I'm, call it. And, I'm or a, you could I'm call a journalist. it killing people because the... I've been arrested person. three times. You're a journalist. I've, I'm, arrest, I'm a filmmaker, yeah. I've been arrested three times. But anybody can be a filmmaker. All you need is a mobile phone. It's true, we're all filming. My, well, I my did camera's one before a the show. Bit, bit more, <laughs> you should see me the iPhone camera. The iPhone but, camera. Um, you know, I've been arrested three times for just filming protests. Mm -hmm. What's going to happen... If you ever want to protest and the police have these powers to just shut you down What do you mean you were arrested away. for filming? It can't be. What was the actual arrest for? Well, there's been, there's been sev several well, there's of them. There's only three times, so... So, for example, one time uh, when they were uh, protesting on the M25, I was on a public footbridge with Well, I with know, some there other... was actually... The, the police got a telling off for that, because that exactly, was ridiculous. Exactly, exactly. You know, that, well, that's yeah, the way that, that we're going. was stupid of the police, that was. But we know, we do know about that. That was a big story. There was a, the other place radio station, a woman, it, it, was, it was terrible, to, and there was a photographer, and the police had to apologise. So that's one, but what was the other one? Uh, so I, I filmed some of the, the iconic footage of the, the suit protest, the next day, the police just came and grabbed me on the street 
Is it because just for, you were, just for filming it? But you had advanced. No, maybe it was for what? What did they you were throwing you? soup? At no, a work no, no, no. Of I, I filmed, or you were filming. I filmed the but did you know it was going to happen? There was, that there could was, be. That could yeah, be. You're obviously were, part of them, aren't you? You were there going was, along there. They invited you along to make a film about it. You were just one of them. Is that what they arrested for? There were several right. other j journalists there as well, and also, um, you know, when I was filming the M25 protest. Charlotte Lynch from LBC got arrested. That's right. Another I see what I was press about. photographer. Mm. I was That's what I just arrested. said. Is but she part of Just Stop Oil? No, no, you're right. The police I, I behave. She might the police behave be. badly. And is that, that, is that, that, would that, that doesn't be mean you're right, though, anyway? just because we know the police behave badly a lot of the time. Well, well she worked for a channel, didn't but she? But we actually knew that. So they filmed it. The whole point. The whole point of this is you. You come on here to promote your movie because you've run out of money to make it, right? That's what you've come on to do. I, well, I got invited on here. Um, we invite thousands of people. They keep saying they were invited. Yeah. We don't. <laughs> people just you know, turn up. You ask they? people if they want to come on the show. If they come Did on... Did just someone do that? I, I don't thought know. these people just walked I, I, I thought we I didn't know that people walked in. in. Yeah. So what, you know, I'm, I'm crowdfunding for this film because I think it's, it's really important that this story is told independently. And what do you think it'll free do? from... People know from what you want. We already interest, knew it. I just told you interest. about your own film. I you mean, know, you are you against everybody that's successful? What would you... Listen, if you could do anything now to save the world in your view, all right, what would, what would you do tomorrow? If you were in government, what would you do? I think our media needs to no longer be controlled by a We're small not amount of billionaires. We're not controlled. I can say anything I want and quite often well, Social media is not controlled. So I mean, I'm giving you the chance to say whatever you want. Now, go on. So here we talk, are. Talk TV is, is run by, you know, is owned by Rupert Murdoch, right? There's yeah. one, one man with such huge influence. Are you a complete nutter? Just are you this really point. this stupid? I'm giving you the right on a on a program, right? My program, to say your piece, starring us, and you're scared. Why are you scared? <laughs> I'm asking you a question. I'm listening. I'm to asking you. you a question. If you were the prime minister or in charge now, what do you think needs to be done to save the world? What will you do immediately? All right, so I've already said we need to start telling the truth and have media that's so what not, is the not truth? under the influence of billionaires. I'm giving you the so chance. You're not even answering the no, question. So the, physically, the, what have we got to do to the stop the world is, blowing up? Never so, mind the media. All right, all right, all right. The truth is that we're in a, a dire climate crisis. So what are we going to do And we need that? to stop... Oil. ...continuing business as usual with more and more fossil fuels. You new oil, know, new you've gas. You've got no idea, have you? You've come in here to try and get a bit of plugging for your movie, which is to promote Just Stop Oil, who are, let's face it, not really very popular And you're annoying anymore. people destroying paintings. It doesn't help the And cause. you've got no answer. So what do you want to do? Stop Just all cars and planes moving immediately? Because, quite frankly, apparently, uh, that is going to ruin the world. Do you want to change the way people live, the way people eat? What do you want to do? I'm asking you. You're in power. You can do whatever you want. And I've given you the freedom of the media to say this is what we should do. Say it. The solution. Right, so we need a world where people have enough to eat. If we continue down this path with you carbon keep, emissions... You see, you're, do, you're we're doing gonna, it again. We're going to destroy you the do? living conditions no, no, we need listen to, me. to be able you're to grow food. You're not that stupid. Come on. I'm asking you, if you had the power to do something about it, what would you do? What do you want to see the government or governments around the world doing? I want to see the truth about the climate crisis. What is the truth and about it? Tell me the truth. The truth is that we're hurtling towards a world of two, three degrees warming, where there's going to be vast swathes of the, the planet. Truth? That because unfortunately the climate changes all the time. Yeah, it was freezing last ways. week. Wasn't it? I've watched your show before, and I know that you don't believe in, in man-made climate change, so I think... I do. No, no, no. Let me get this right. This is what I believe. And listen, I believe that climate is changed by very many things, including mankind. And whatever happens oh, to see, live on been, this there's planet... There's been some movement since I watched I your show that, previously. I said that, didn't you? I said that. I things that. are changing, you know. Even James's mind has been I think changed. it's time you went. <laughs> I think it's time we took a break, because I'm bored, and you're not going to answer the question. The question is... What would you do? What should be the first thing? Here we are, we give you power. What should be the first thing that you do to help save the planet? Stop new oil and gas. Stop making the problem there worse. There you go. Yeah, we are. Well, that'll make it worse. Fine so answer. why don't you and your friends go and make some of this movie in China or India? 
yeah. or America. You wouldn't sit in the road you know, in China, would you? People bring that up a lot um, when these protests are unfolding in the streets. It's something I cover in the film, you know. We need to have this conversation. Yeah, why why aren't people going to China? Well, because... This is our country. Why people want to protest why? against their government? But China's much more you know, worse. It's much worse for them. This is your. You hobby. have a bone to pick with the government. This is quite your often, fun. right? Yeah, I do. So you, you, so you take it to them. I do. These but protesters I'm have a bone chance. to pick with. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Democratic them. ballot box. Don't block people's lives. Just you, like we all have to. You have to. So do I, to... I'm, I'm not a protester with just stop oil. I'm a filmmaker. So but you're on their side. You're not independent. I'm much more independent with. Telling, telling the truth about the climate crisis. Well, that's you're doing. You're just, what, you're, no, hang on. Just, what you're saying is telling the truth, your truth, which isn't necessarily anybody else's truth. You know, the climate is changing. Eventually, mankind will not survive on this planet. Hopefully, it won't be too soon. But you know, you never know because as probably soon as the be planet, world war. It kills us. Possibly. Don't, probably, you, don't you think that's awful? I think it's terrible. Mankind might not survive. I, I think, how much suffering there's going to well, be? It's the way the don't world you, don't is. Don't you think we should do but something about that? There'll be nuclear warfare that does the that. The problem is you're not that's awful. through anything it's bad. Just our children are going to have yeah. to face that. I haven't had any children. Right, let's for that let's do something really. about it. Yeah. What are you going to do it's when the government asks you to go along to the recruiting office because we bring back conscription? What are you going to do? Conscription. I don't think we're going to bring back conscription. No, but if we do... We want you. <laughs> what am I going to do? That's a completely hypothetical situation. Yeah, what are you going to do it if they do? Would you what... fight to defend this country? From I what? mean, you're prepared to film people and the sit enemy. down. Anybody who wants to actually invade this country, and there may well in the future be somebody who does. Well, that's going to be completely dependent on the situation, what I do. There's an enormous amount of wars going yeah. on in this country which are probably more detrimental to the climate than whether we use oil or gas. Yeah, there's a lot more pressing issues. I think whether, you know, the survival of humankind is quite a pressing issue. Whether well, we can, that is the survival Whether we of can mankind, continue to wars. grow food to survive is a quite a yeah. pressing issue. Well, I think we still seem to be doing that. You want us to all eat insects, don't you? Do you want no. us to eat insects? That's what they want I, us to do. Yeah. No, I don't think so. I mean... That's what's coming. What do you want us to eat? What do, you brought me on here to talk about... You don't know, do you? You don't know what you're going to eat. You keep saying we're going to eat. Yeah, Yeah. what should we eat? I brought you on here... Well, I didn't, actually. I brought you on here because I was told that you're a, a young guy making this movie to tell the real story uh, of Just Stop, Stop Oil, but what you're basically doing is making a movie to promote them. And... So I you mean, are, James, you, have, you, you are, haven't seen the film yet. You, you're making a bit of an assumption now. I've, say, I've seen the And trail. I think, you know, you're, 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 you're interested in, in Just Stop Oil and with, with climate activists. I think you'd be interested to see, you know, the motivations of these people, what, the, what they're really like. I think I know. I've Whether you agree with them or not, find, I've watch the film, make up your own mind. I've I just want to give people the opportunity. Lots of them. And they basically, once you get down to the nitty-gritty, they're having a bit of a laugh because they're causing a bit of trouble. They're making a name for themselves, some of them, which is why they come on these programmes. But they're not really doing anything or have any idea how to help the country in the future. Getting rid of gas and oil and going all electric isn't going to work. I, it's I, not going to work. Net zero won't happen. I, I don't know what you do. like to do on your days off, but... Marching down the road and getting sent to prison for it isn't really yeah. anyone's people idea have, of fun. People have done that so since I, I don't the think, Vietnam War. I don't think the argument that they're doing it just I because think, it's a nice I day out really, really holds up. I think they're doing it because they get brainwashed into thinking they're doing something. But, you know, how it's many It's like a youth times? culture. It's a new, you know, gothic, isn't it? It's mm. like being, you know... It's but anyway, to do. listen, thank you for coming in. I've got a break now. I didn't realise we'd gone on so long. I thought we'd get rid of him and do some... Where is it out, your movie? Where can we watch your movie? It's, it's not so finished. She hasn't got all any good money. Theaters, it's, cr it's crowdfunding oh. on Indiegogo. We'll take a break. Uh, thank support. You. If you want to hear now. about Just Stop Oil, support the crowdfunder. Yeah. Hey, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. I mean, there's quite a lot of game playing going on here. Oh, don't start me on that. <laughs> there's a sort of feeling they ought to look as if they're doing something. So don't accuse anyone else of stoking culture wars. Such as the smoke and mirrors of, of politics. Ruminating and fulminating and debating and voting and God knows what. Said they couldn't back the party's position. But the government has got to be more flexible. It's starting to sound like a very expensive show, this, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. And we're on your smart speaker. 
Now, you ain't going to have an eve it, me old Chinas, but a new report is calling for a new definition of cockney. All right, Jeremy, me old China. All Rosie. right, oi, oi, treat, go. When J.K. Rowling says, let's just be honest, that's all she's saying, let's just be honest, when a man goes out and kills, we should talk about them as what they are, a biological man. Trans woman is not a woman. Trans woman is a man. Lee would have to go for much further than his statement. I mean, he, he did say that he spoke clumsily and he understood the Prime Minister's position, but I think he'd need to say that he'd got it wrong. Then I had a phone call this morning um, from Kim City Council, a lovely woman called Anna. And yeah, I've just received an email just saying um, that, yeah, I'm going to be getting a badge. Quite um, right, too. Yeah. Quite yeah. right, too. It's that time again to get the violins out. That's right. Prince Harry has lost his bid for UK security after moaning he'd been singled out. Now, you might as well be discussing an invasion of Daleks for all I really get this. <laughs> but, but, but I am now on social media having been dragged off my eight-pound Nokia reluctantly kicking and screaming. <laughs> I'm a huge hit on Instagram, as you probably know. What are you doing? I was just about to do it. Ooh! Ooh! It's carry on <laughs> what just happened. <laughs> Whoa, <miss it. laughs> There was a suggestion by some that maybe it would be nice to put a statue of the Queen on the mm. fourth blimp. Mr Khan apparently wasn't too keen on that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Huh? I, know it's, I know it's coming and I can't stop laughing. <laughs> so he suggested alternatives. There's a sweet potato. That's quite a small statue, then. Wasn't there also a prostitute? <laughs> ah, <laughs> a trans... Sex worker. You don't really need one of those in Trafalgar Square. You just got to walk up to Soho. So <laughs> yeah. Why do you know this? Because yeah. I know everything. Uh, was he just unlucky getting that question with an ice cream, or is it a sign of something more? Seemed like he was on a uh, late night show to attract a young demographic, and uh, they put him in an ice cream store. I read the statement this morning from the family. And if any police officer reads that statement, if you don't cry for what you read from what the family is saying, it's heartbreaking, then you shouldn't be a police officer. The UK, I'd say, has lots of racism within it. I don't necessarily think it's a racist country, but it permeates our institutions. Yeah, but for her to say, come out and vote, and by the way, when I was 22 years old and I had an affair with a married man that I knew was married, the feminist failed me. I'm sorry. I think like, the feminist what, what, did fail to, her. Yeah, we're absolutely. Supposed to it was another era. She was 22. Mm. We're supposed to have moved on from that. Don't hark back on no. something you did that was wrong. Talk TV. It's the only place where you get the truth. Independent Republic of Mike Graham. Ah! Weeknights at 8 on Talk TV. Yes. Yeah, okay, so we're back. I mean, I, this must be a record programme for you finding people to come on the show to annoy me. Have you done that on purpose? Uh, well, we, we were just discussing this earlier, that every single guest you've interviewed tonight, you've upset and they've stormed out. And they didn't know and, anything. And that's, um, and that's the lawyer was good. I like the lawyer. It's a shame. Can we call him back to come about another 200 miles back? No. Well, apparently, he didn't travel 200 miles to see James. Yeah. He travelled 200 miles to see... Palace Man City. Yeah. They won 4-2. So what, really a happy. lawyer that lies? Anyway, no, no, um, no. just... No, he doesn't. He was fine. He was fine, but you know, I like sometimes him. I get upset. When well, the big mistake was I told you me. he yeah. was a big fan of yours, and whenever I do that, yes. you end up screaming at them. <laughs> it's true. You know you do. <laughs> I do. He That's goes, my heart. That's he my said heart. to me, twenty yeah. years ago, I tried to appear on the James Whale show. I missed my chance. I was gutted. Twenty years later, here's my opportunity. It's like Jim will fix it. Never meet your heroes. And then, and then you shout at him. Never meet your heroes. Stop it. Yeah. Right. What have we got? I thought we'd take some calls well, for the last We're, we're going to very but... quickly do TV hell Are because we? I heard it's your birthday on May the 13th. May the 13th the, is my birthday. The yep. big 9 0. <laughs> May the 13th. So, so get your cards in for this. May That's the 13th. True. So I've got three um, products 
that Ash might like to buy you for your birthday. Oh, well, this might yeah. be nice. Yeah. Yeah, so this I'm going to show you good. the first product. This yeah. is called the Gojo, and this is... You know when you're making phone calls? Gojo. Yeah. 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 But when you're making phone calls and you want to do other stuff, maybe yeah. you want to, like, you know, have, a, have some toast or you want to use yeah. the microwave or you want to flip what's on the TV, yeah. well, use the Gojo the and you can do whatever you like. Let's have a look at this. Hi, I'm Joe Gray with the Gojo hands-free. The only device on Earth that's truly hands-free. The Gojo goes on in one second. Hello? One Mississippi. Hey, Mom, I can't talk right now. Only the Gojo has both hands-free. No batteries, no wires. It makes your phone the hands-free device. It's true hands-free. This is, like, like perfect. Freaking awesome. And it works with all phones. Stick the high-density suction cup to the back of any phone. Flip phones, cordless phones, even landlines. And pop it off. Amazing, I want one. <laughs> so what do you think? Are you interested in the Gojo? No, I don't like Actually, that. Actually, it has a no. great use. No. But what, what, isn't that a great idea? You haven't got to hold the phone anymore. Well, I don't. I usually just turn it on and then uh, put it somewhere while I talk. <laughs> do you hear the other end then? Yeah, yeah, no. You, you never know, bother listening you, anyway. He whenever, doesn't. Just, whenever, 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 conversation. Whenever when anyone phones phone him, me, he yeah. just shouts at them. Yeah, whenever just, uh, you Tells them to get me. out of the studio and hangs yeah. up. Whenever you phone me... Uh, we have a, a conversation about the programme. I just answer it and put it over on the side. Do you it? ever have an argument with Nadine at home and you say, oh, get out of the studio? It's like, James, we're in bed. Mm. I yeah. never, ever argue with her because she, she won't She'd listen win. to the show. Yeah. You know, she, she, no, gosh, no. She's not a big fan of you on TV, by the oh, way. No, she, I know. She was just saying. Yeah, yeah. She goes, I don't know why this is so popular. Yeah. I know, she's, <laughs> she's Radio 4... And Radio 4 Extra. Is she woke? Yeah. No. She, a, woke, no, no. a woke whale? She is not woke. Has she told you to say yes? A woke whale? No, she's not woke. She can't hear. She's very you can tell polite. The, tell the truth. Oh, very, very polite. Oh, we right. get it. Here's the next product you might and want very, to buy and very James Whale for his okay. birthday. Now, if you have trouble putting your shoes on, because some people do, he does. Here's I should bring her in now. Here's a product she called the Shoe Dini. Bending right, over okay. to put your shoes on is a back-breaking chore. One wrong step, you could end up on the floor. And trying to get them off can hurt even more. Well, now the shoe dini, the world's first shoe horn that lets you get your shoes on and off with ease. No more wrinkled clothes trying to get your shoes on. No more scuffing and damaging your shoes trying to get them off. Shoe dini is perfect for anyone with arthritis or back pain. Especially those with limited mobility. I want one of those. No more bending. It's a telescope. I, well, he, he likes that, bending. That was just like. Would you stop it? You're so ignorant. And I'm Filth. serious about Did getting rid of you. Filth. I'm really serious. It's just serious. a telescopic shoehorn. I, it's, I it's think it's a jolly mind. good idea. So, what do you like so far? The Gojo or the Shudini for your birthday? You'll get what you give. The uh, shoehorn thing. <laughs> the Shudini. Yeah. All right. So, here's the third one that you may like okay. for your birthday. Uh, now, you're very fashionable. You're wearing your whale tie today why um, does that mean he's fashionable but i found this shop that do the most fashionable suits in america really oh, and the this guy who runs it is is like yeah amazing you'll oh, love him let's have a look it's called divine rags have you ever seen a beautiful well-dressed woman dancing and getting down on the dance floor amazing isn't it excuse me miss where did you get this fabulous outfit from well i they always say they got it from Divine Rags at Wolf Chess Ball. Beautiful women. I'm fascinated always. I'm fascinated more by a well-dressed woman. Do you shop at Divine Rags? Maybe you two might fascinate me. Ah, <laughs> Lizzie never told us when she did. Yeah, hey, I know. that had nothing. You said if I wanted to get a suit, that had nothing to that, do with that. That is the suits. most fashionable place to buy suits in the whole of America. Really? Yeah. Luckily, yeah. I'm not so in America. Ash, you need to buy him one of those products for I his go birthday. there quite regularly, actually. Is it going to be the Gojo, the Shudini, or the Divine Wag? Yeah. I like the, the, the Gojo. The fur is very useful, isn't it? And yeah. for, for his job as well. He could wear it while he's what here. Job? Well, yeah, what job? He's a shock jockey. This is, oh, he's a shock jock. Oh, for goodness sake. He's uh, Britain's uh, foremost rudest shock it, jockey. Oh, for goodness sake. I just, business. I just behave as a normal person. Well, you've done 29 years. Yeah. How are we going to yes. celebrate his 30th year? Because we did a big thing for you. Yeah, when next is it? year? Yeah, yeah. Is it next year? Yeah. 30 years. I mean, years. the whole nation will be National, I don't think anyone's done not longer without being fired since Annie Nightingale went. First year. 30 God, God years. Bless her soul. Yeah. Since 30 he started. Years. And he still forgets to put his mic on. And it, 
and he's avoided actually ever being in the right place at the right time. Always do that. Yeah. Always do that. Right. Should we we sent um, these cross? They're not yeah. dog biscuits. From right. uh, f this is from yeah. Karen. This is okay. for Andre, and I've been sent a, a Star of David bottle opener. Thank Aren't you you Who's that from, Ash? That's from Karen. Thanks, Karen. Oh. There's a card. There's a long story in it. And we're, 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 there's have, a, have your dog biscuit now. It's a crucifix. Are they, are they edible? Yeah, no, they're made of wood. Danielle, one for Danielle, Andrea and, and Andre. Uh, we've got some okay. phone calls before the next show. Woke That Was is coming uh, at 10 o'clock. Right. right. Uh, uh, thank you very much indeed, John. Thank you. Uh, Maria in Merseyside. Merseyside, you're on the air. Yeah, you put like those all away and shut up. Maria. Hi, are you James? Um, I'm just dead worried we shouldn't leave the human rights, European human rights, right? Because the same law is going to come here, what's happening in Scotland. There's going to be mass walkouts of Merseyside police, all the police. And then they're going to give all the illegal immigrants the jobs and they're going to usher in Sharia law. But Scotland is bound by the ECHR as well. Well, that sounds slightly right. worrying, but I don't think it's going to go that far, no, Maria. Don't worry okay? about it. Don't worry it's about it. going to happen, you know, I really do. No, I really I've, I've, put, let, let me put your mind at rest. I don't think it's going to happen. You can't take the human rights away from us, honestly. We'll make our own human rights a more reasonable... Maria, we're not taking... The human rights law yeah. was written by us. Yeah. All those laws are within our constitution. The yeah. problem we have is that judges from other countries can actually make decisions that yeah. affect us if we're in the ECHR. So if we leave the ECHR, we still have human rights better than practically... Yeah. Well, better than we every other our country. Our own human rights. Yeah, because we drafted it, Not after stupid all. ones. So uh, all we will do is take away the chances of other countries trying to control us, which is what they've been it's doing Dr. for Sweet. many years. Look, Sweet's called him. Uh, Sweet, good evening to you. Also in Merseyside. Sweet tooth, too, yeah. Hi, sweetie. What can we do? Um, I've come to raise a price about chewing gum. Yeah. I've been, wa I've been working for years to try and ban it. Chewing a bit of gum. Well, I, I, quite, I, I don't chew gum at the moment because... Um, do you like juicy fruits? I, I don't chew like gum. Juicy fruits. Do you like you that? all over Merseyside and Manchester. You're right, though. Yeah. It's Listen, banned in Singapore. You get executed. I, I agree with you on the fact that people who chew gum stick it everywhere. Yeah. And quite frankly, there's only one place they should stick it as far as I'm yeah. concerned. Yeah, and if you're going problems. to chew gum, chew it responsibly, 